where Chick-fil-A has a seat at the it's international the table. Like, <laughs> sovereign entity. Yeah. We must all eat chicken. Chicken sandwiches. Spicy chicken sandwiches. Chicken nuggets. Fra waffle fries. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ladies back gentlemen. to the Almost Spicy Podcast. My name is Francisco. I'm with my co-host, Ben. Yes, sir. Here I am. Ben's right here. We have a special guest today. Goes by the name of Jaeger Abrosi. Jaeger, say hi. Hey, guys. We are actually currently filming. If uh, you've been watching the show, you'll notice we're not in our not typical in our studio. Typical. Yeah. New studio. Um, no. Well, for right now. Yeah. This is the uh, Raven Space Recordings operated by Jaeger right here in um, Roseville, Minnesota. Close That's to right. Minneapolis, if you don't know what we're talking about. It's out there. Rosedale Center. Rosedale Center. Pretty much. He, Yeah, yeah. He operates... Well, don't tell him all that. He operates the uh, studio, uh, music recording studio. We're going to get into that later. We're going to have a lot yeah. of fun this episode. We yeah. have a few words to get out of the way before we get into okay. the fun stuff. Uh, we do want to start out here by uh, speaking about the uh, Israel-Palestine Palestine situation we want to call for an immediate ceasefire. We are very anti-war on this program. Mm -hmm. Just uh, to get that out of the way, we hope by the time this is out, there is some kind of ceasefire already in place, but it's not looking great right now. As you know, uh, the USA sends $4 billion of military aid to Israel every year, with Biden currently wanting to send another $14 billion So fucking right crazy. Now. Yes. The uh, story that came out, uh, just a few things that we're going to touch on, State Department official resigns by the name of Josh Paul. This is a gentleman who was overseeing arms sales his whole career in the U.S. government. Now, he kind of did like a whistleblower kind of deal here with his resignation because he's letting us know that in the past, every arms deal that he saw, they would have kind of pros and cons of the deal. How do they delay the deal to avoid yeah. loss of life, etc.? What he's saying right now, the reason he resigned is that there's been zero oversight on this uh, on these new weapons that are being sent over there when he brought the matters up to the, uh, to complain basically about you know you're not following your own rules he was basically told to kick rocks and work on something else he's told that these orders are coming from the highest levels of the government aka the biden administration so we wanted to get that out there uh pretty intense stuff yeah it's fucking nuts it's to think that i mean it sounds like biden is making some of those calls himself and um well, I don't know. Well, Th that's what he was told. That's well, what he's saying. That they're saying. I mean, exactly. Okay, yeah, you're right. He can never know for sure. If we're really. talking, to, yeah. If, you, if, if we're, we're talking about the capability of Biden, uh, yeah. I mean, he's referred to as a zombie a lot. So Biden or whatever his whatever he represents, right? Whatever puppet. Exactly the master, <laughs> right? Cabinet. Master, yeah. The, you know, they're they're the ones making the calls. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You know, in his cabinet and everything. Yeah, exactly. That's so how it's always been pretty much. Now there is that footage of Biden many years ago when he was in the Senate talking about um, how if there wasn't an Israel, they would have to create one. It's yeah. basically what, basically the United States, you know, by they they prop Israel up because we send that much money. We already said four billion almost a year. Careful with that. Yeah. Uh, another thing that disgusts me. Just, just want to get these things out there before we get into the fun stuff. Uh, like Lockheed Martin stock prices of the just people who build the soaring. weapons just going up as soon as like any signs of war. So this is like it's disgusting. also funny because they they make like some of the like shittiest war machines apparently. Oh, the shit don't even work half the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I remember seeing not long ago, like uh, the Navy bought like a bunch of these like smaller like m vessels that were meant for quickly getting into you know certain parts of the world um and they keep capsizing jesus and there it was like a hundred you know billion dollar fucking project that you had one job that they they can't even get a, like a yeah. warranty or refund on any of them they have to no. pay more money to get this shit fixed yeah. it's, it's disgusting the amount of uh they call it fraud waste and abuse yeah um, and uh you know we saw john stewart recently quit his position producing a show for apple tv because wait he did i didn't know that a after oh God. yeah two, he did two seasons third season was about to come out yeah but they were trying to scrap his episode on china and ai is what is 
told unless he like spoke about it differently because obviously we all know yeah yeah the amount of uh labor that goes into making iphones overseas yeah. uh, arguably i love uh, john stewart oh i do too no he's he's he walked a... away from how many millions of dollars by doing that so that's oh, many you know? times think... many times over too yeah. that's not the first time that he's done that yeah you think he had a choice well, he had a choice he can censor himself oh, and not ask right. the hard questions yeah. or he can walk away and he walk walked away, away. So that's yeah. honorable. Um, to finish up on uh, some of the war stuff, the uh, local Minnesota story, um, talking about a rabbi who went to a donors-only event that Joe Biden held here just a few days ago. Today's November 4th. Yeah. For context, she paid $1,000 to go to the event, and she stood up while he was talking and um, demanded a ceasefire. And uh, we thought that was very courageous and uh, speaking for a lot of us. Because uh, apparently Joe Biden canceled his public event where anybody could have gone because there were so many people protesting yep. already. So, mm -hmm. uh, to see it. yeah. And as of right now, Israel has declined calls for a humanitarian pause that the United States requested. That's not even a ceasefire. That's just a pause. Yeah, and they're saying no. It's not looking great. And we just wanted to make sure everybody was kind of informed that it's not great. And about uh, they're calling 10,000 um, Palestinians dead right now. So 20,000 under rubble. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think we can all agree we're all pretty anti-war, and we agree that uh, when there's a business of selling arms, nobody really wins except no, the, the profiteers. Profiteers. Yeah. Right. And of and of course, I mean, we're seeing uh, the literal wipe of generations of families. And, it's disgusting. Yeah. Um, it's hard to fathom. And ethnic mm -hmm. cleansing on such a you know. I mean. We're we're seeing it in um, you know with the Uyghurs in China. We're seeing it with um, uh, where's the in the uh, Congo in the Congo. Yeah, yes, yep. thank you. Yeah, and then um, of course the civil war in uh, Ethiopia, Tigray. I think that's um, had a lot of developments. Yeah, but it's all over the world. But I mean, this of course being uh, one of the most recent things. Yeah, and it's it. Yeah, I mean, it's really sad beyond belief. I mean, it's tough, man. Um, and there's so much history there that we um, probably won't get into right now. I mean, it's it's the genesis of the world, pretty yeah. much. I mean, you have right. all the major religions right there. That's that's the thing that bugs me is the fact that it's kind of like a holy war. So it's kind of like you know using the Bible. You see uh, Netanyahu, you know, referring to the Bible, and um, you know, it just doesn't feel right that you know. That, well, it's you know. not that it's not the Bible, but well, he he's referring to you know the the books, you know. Yeah, but he yeah. I don't know, dude. Um, it's it's crazy, and this this conflict has been going on for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so insanely long. Like, I was just... This is a, a tangent, but I was reading about the 1972 Olympics in mm -hmm. in Germany for some reason on Wikipedia, you know, yeah. doing a dive on Wikipedia about something. I was, I was just, like, reading about it, and then I didn't know this, but there was, like, a attack, uh, like... Uh, some sort of terrorist attack having to do with uh, Israelis and Palestinians at the Olympics in 1972. Wow. And it's just like this This thing is, it's always been going on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember learning about, learning about it in high school, which wasn't that long ago for me, but mm -hmm. definitely like wasn't in a good situation yeah. five, six years ago w or whatever. Definitely wasn't in a good spot. And you went to a uh, private school. Yeah. So I think in my public schooling, I don't think we even touched on really? any of this stuff. Or maybe you we know, uh, we did. Was it a little bit? It, it we very a little bit. We we yeah. talked more. It was more on the along the lines of like refugees. Okay. And like at that time, there was like the Syrian refugee crisis right. was like ramping up. That's right. To be a pretty big thing because of ISIS mm -hmm. and everything else. Another fact is Israel was founded just about seventy five years ago yeah. as a as a state. Um, yeah. Of course, propped up by the United States. So. And the UN too. and the UN. Yeah. So ultimately, um, we have we can go so many different places from here as far as like, what do you know? How how can a person live their life? And do you choose to ignore it? Do you choose to talk about it every day? I think I'm finding it important to kind of uh, talk about it more. And um, yeah. I think it's good that we're sharing. Uh, you know, people on Instagram and everything that share information. I I applaud everybody that is at least saying something and not trying yeah. to stay quiet it's at first it's like you know, let me let me see where this kind of goes and it's like but now it, you know when stuff to, facts start to come out um yeah you know so 
Thanks for listening to us on, on this deal. And any any last bits on this other than uh, ceasefire now, please? Yeah, I mean, Just and the and the death. I yeah, think man. everybody wants that. Yeah. Um, well, not everybody. From what I can tell, like a maj- I mean, over here, I don't think anybody's like. I don't know. There's a lot of different people in America, but I think and a lot of propaganda. By and large, and people of, don't want. Yeah. yeah, people don't want the death. Yeah, I um, mean, where I live in St. Louis Park, I do see a lot of very pro. Very, very pro Israel. Oh yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I I, I live in a like largely Jewish, okay. close area. to the synagogue, I believe. Yeah. And listen, what happened on October seventh? We won't go further without condemning that uh, fifteen hundred Israelis were killed. Yeah. Um, in yeah. That, in that terrorist attack by Hamas. I mean, uh, and so especially nobody, just finding that one person from that festival that was, you know, stripped naked and like mm-hmm. paraded around, and then they yeah. finally found her, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, there's, I mean, it's it's horrible. I mean, war is just disgusting in general, mm-hmm. but it's like the reason that attack happened, of course, if you look at the map of, uh, of Gaza and, uh, and Israel, kind of just how they've been pushed, you know, the Palestinian people to the very edge, and now mm-hmm. they're literally talking about turning Gaza into a parking lot. So it's like, you know, when you shake a well, bottle of soda and, and eventually the bottle explodes. And they can't go anywhere, too. There's nowhere to go now. They, nobody they, wants they, them. First of all, nobody wants they them. They literally can't go anywhere. They're stuck where they are. Yeah. yeah. So and, it's disgusting, uh, the whole yeah. thing. So Yeah, refugee crises are just some of the most, oh, it's just, like, horrible to hear about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you yeah. Know, you can't help but have, like, immense compassion for the people who are, like, going through that yeah um, yeah there's something but, deeper there because i just learned yeah. today about um for refugees the united states like specifically d- is not allowing like more than a handful of palestinian refugees like and this is like decades old law so it's just been this way that mm-hmm. we align with israel and that's the way it is and it's yeah. like um, which is funny because we we are a large country that takes in a lot of refugees, a lot. But in especially, the law, yeah, especially in Minnesota. Minnesota, oh, yeah, Minnesota is Minnesota a refugee sure, state. Yeah. I think we fact. might be the only ones that might accept it. We we yeah. we accept yeah. we accept everyone. That's why we have such a large uh, Somali population. That's why we have such a large Hmong population. That's exactly. Why, you know, um, Tibetan like fucking many different. Yeah, wide varieties. You of got like everything in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, and it's beautiful for the same reason too. Yeah, it is. So there's something deeper. There's some. There's always something we we're not being told. There's a reason why there's no ceasefire. There's a reason why they're telling you to move on. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, truth will come to light. I believe. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. At this present moment, where we are in time, is just it's not good. These are the facts that we present now. Yeah. Like we said, November fourth. Um. 2023 yeah and yeah, yeah. peace and love ceasefire yeah. now man hopefully by the time this is out that's where we're at and uh, we hope everyone's staying safe we know that the government has said that u.s government has said for us to practice extreme caution he- heightens i mean since it's kind of obvious that the weapons that are being used are u.s weapons so it's yeah. like terrorist attacks here are you know they're more at, likely they're more vigilant about it i was hearing some mm-hmm. news article on on the radio about it it was like they have heightened vigilance but they don't necessarily they're not tracking anything specific there's no yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're like you know yeah there's i, gu- I guess they, there's so they much want to be as uh cautious as possible yeah, proactive yeah. Yeah. and i don't want to jump into conspiracy land like as far as like yeah. the attacks and everything so we're gonna move on from here if everybody yeah. agrees yeah uh I, thanks for taking the moment to, to talk about it make sure that mic's right up to you now if you've noticed we are all wearing headphones. We are uh, monitoring our audio for the first time, courtesy of Raven Space Recordings. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It's weird to like listen to yourself. It is. Nice. After also listening to yourself for hours on end. <laughs> <laughs> By editing the podcast. By pod. editing the podcast. Yeah, we're trying to get these new episodes out for y'all, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed some of the content we put out other than the podcast, including our trip to the loop. Minneapolis yeah. and our Flavor World, uh, Flavor Fest experience. That was a fun one. We got to do that again. No, definitely all wish, of that. I wish I had been there. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Flavor we Fest. we we gotta do, we gotta do like more of an interview style shit where we like switch off and just do some dumb shit. I don't know. With with people like sitting down or like walking around. Walking around. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, and we hope that you would join me and Lucius in L.A. But next time. 
Uh, we're gonna try to get some content. I don't got there. money for it right now. I, I wish. Soon, soon. All right. So we originally were gonna interview Jagger by a campfire. We'll still do it someday. Yeah, maybe. But winter's maybe. here now. Yeah, that was an unfortunate situation. I yeah, was thinking yeah. about that. Yeah. The wildfire smoke and everything. It was kind oh, of a yeah. logistical uh, nightmare. And, and the health. Yeah, it was during the wildfires that we were going to shoot outside, but Ben, of course. The, yeah, the, I can't. The I air can't quality was fluctuating so much. It was like oh, yeah. you had no idea if like today was going to be like a healthy day or like super yeah. unhealthy. Yeah, and it I was, was get, like over the summer. It was bad. I yeah, I shit you not like I because I, I had gotten like air purifiers and everything in my place just for that like reason, mm-hmm. and a lot of them turned black from those few days. Jeez. Like it was bad. <laughs> I was about to burp. I was trying to find the mute button so that it wouldn't get picked up. We're gonna have to do a burp, uh, burp watch through. Yeah, burp watch maybe. Uh, <laughs> can we like timestamp yeah. it? <laughs> the I'm not gonna burp. Clip. But if it was Mark Norman, you know you he can, would burp. You can also just he like would, move away. That's, like, yeah, exactly. that is the room nice mic's thing. gonna pick it up though. Oh fuck! We're, but, we're cutting but, that. Uh, <laughs> Cool. Thank you for downloading this podcast on Apple Music and Spotify, streaming on YouTube right now. I have a few notes we haven't filmed in a while. Can I go through some of these thoughts with y'all? Almost Spicy Podcast? Yeah. 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 Here's one. Uh, this is a news story. Oppenheimer was CIA approved. The movie? Yes. Was, uh, yeah, I mean. It's so long. It makes been, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. They, they had to approve a lot of those things. It's talking about like government, you know, history yeah. and things that the government's done that are aren't necessarily uh, considered moral, <laughs> favorable, right? Yeah. But to you know, the least. it's it's kind of common knowledge. Everything about that, um, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not surprised. It's but called the Manhattan Project yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Uh, this is how long it's been since we filmed. It says COVID is coming back. And, well, and I don't know. I still sometimes I'm still hearing about it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they had the, the new, uh, the new shot. Yeah, yeah new Fauci vaccine. wants to get. You need to get the new booster. Yeah, yeah. Um, they say that that one was tested before they launched it to the whole population. It was tested on eight mice, zero <laughs> humans. Who's wow. they? It was a news story. I don't have the, <laughs> the it? source. It was on uh, the news. Bro. It was on the Russell Brand News TV. Oh, ooh, ooh, <laughs> that's a that's a hot one to that's bring. A hot All right. One. Uh, uh, here's here's one that's not news related. The mirror was the worst invention of all time. Before the mirror, to see one's reflection, you would have to bow down in front of a river or ocean. That's right. And you'd just be wavy. Well, right. I mean, it, you would wait till it got still. Maybe if you were in a lake. Right. At a certain point, you can't get a reflection really. It's yeah. Too, if it gets too, too dark out. But you know, or too ripple. Every you know, but, but you live long enough, you eventually come upon a, a, still, a still river, or lake, yeah. or whatever, and you can. I mean, can get truth a, be told, probably at that time reflection. there wasn't like most most of the water was probably clear. Like, yeah, back then, yeah. Back yeah. before mirrors. Before mirrors. Oh God, that <laughs> oh, reminds the me. The invention of, of mirrors made the water turn all dark. <laughs> That's a symbol. Uh which came first, the chicken or the egg? There, I don't know. Yeah, the mirror. I think it was the uh, the mirror, and then. They kept making more mirrors and a lot of other things, and then the river started getting dirty. Does, any, does anybody know how, how a mirror is made? Yeah, yeah they, it's like he some knows. sort of like chemical thing. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of different ways you can make a mirror. I've seen a lot of different. There's ways. more than one way. Yeah, you. Just, I mean, you can like buff down a piece of metal yeah. to like glare finish, and that's like that's a way to do it. But it's not quite the same as like a chemical made mirror that most like bathrooms have, but. There's this mm. I'm not yeah. I'm not an expert on mirrors. Don't like. You're an expert on a few things, and we're gonna get into that. Yeah. But a mirror, you can never buy a mirror that hasn't been used already once. Because whoever made it tested it out and made sure it, it worked. So that's kind of fun. What? Yes, yeah, so I saw somebody else on a. I'm sorry. I, I may that not be. I, 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 I may not be high enough for that. What does <laughs> that mean? It means when they made the mi- like, you can't buy a mirror that's not used. Because it's already what kind of liberal bullshit is that? I'm gonna move on. <laughs> um, can I can I mention please. this? This would be a fun podcast thing to please, mention. Please, please. Oh, I was talking to this old lady recently. Yeah. Past couple of months over the summer, she's just like a family friend. I stayed at her house on a road trip. She's a very sweet lady. She had been to India a couple times. Yeah. She went one time with like a nurse who, I mean, she went during this massive cultural festival. I don't remember what it's called. Mm-hmm. But, um. 
It's like once every 13 years. I mean, they have it's an annual festival, but they have like the big one every 13 years. Um, so they went for the big one. Mm. And this lady, I guess the the point of the whole journey was to like. There's this guy called Yogananda. Mm-hmm. Mm. He was like a a yogi. And this is the guy who uh, George Harrison from the Beatles followed, and he was like a devotee, yeah. all that stuff. So, anyways, she there's this book. It's like his autobiography, Yogananda's autobiography. She went on this whole, like, recreating the whole journey that he did through India. Mm. So they eventually, you know, they go to the Ganges River. You know how it's kind of a famous thing for people to (laughs) dump ashes in the river. Many things. And bathe, too. Bathe, Mm. clean the river. Right, so that was was kind of the point of the festival was you get in the water and you cleanse your karma. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, people were taking risks to cleanse their karma, getting in this, like, disgusting Disgusting. water. And she said that she saw people just dumping bodies in the Ganges River because they were too poor to afford a proper cremation Cremation. and burial. So, you know, they would, but they still were respecting their wishes of, um, going in the Ganges after their death. So the way they do that, huh. you know, because they have so many people over there, yeah. um, just dump them, in the, dump them in the river. And so she went, oops, she went on this journey with a, like a nurse and she brought every antibiotic, every every kind of medicine you would need for over there. And she, she got sick probably like, I don't know, 10 times or something. But mm. every time, you know, the lady had the pills for it. So she, she made it through the trip. But, you know, she said that some of the people <laughs> she was with during that part when when they were at the Ganges seeing the dead bodies and all that, like they were overwhelmed with anxiety and they were just kind of like, I need to go home. They're like, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. you can't calm down. Just, you know, you got to breathe. They try to work through it, but wow. it's crazy. Like, yeah, it's crazy. You're dumping like I mean, that's, a dead that's body. That's overwhelming to see for sure. Oh, for sure. You dump in a dead body and then you, you also normal. die. Yeah. That's the thing. That's and there somewhat are, normal. There are people, you yeah, know, there's dead bodies culturally. floating down the river and there's people like cleansing their karma in the same water. Yeah. Like You, you know. might just become one of those bodies. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you're, right. You know, that. if you have an open cut my dad, on your toe, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you, you're done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my dad's my dad's traveled all throughout India and stuff like that. And nice. Especially like Egypt and the Nile. Yeah, yeah. Um, When it was probably the most dirtiest it it had ever been at Mm. that time you know like uh, i think early 80s or something like that and you remember like people that would like literally drink the water of the nile and it's like that is the grossest (laughs) thing i've ever heard because i mean sewage is run into oh yeah people shit in the Mm -hmm. like she said so many different things this lady said that uh even like half of the bottled water you buy at stores is like unsafe to drink oh yeah the clear water in a bottle is like not not legit and it's like they have to have this certain seal of approval on them and the like the the guy that they were with was like you know if they had a, a sketchy bottle of water he was like did you drink this oh god it and sounds intense. Yeah, man. right. It's yeah. it's crazy. Like that's that's like it's a it. hard place to be if you're not from there, and probably oh, yeah. is even if you're from there. I, India, India especially is a very wild place because like you have to even like p- preparing food and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You have to be very careful. Yeah, they Definitely. use a, they use a lot of spices, which is what like helps. That helps, yeah. Like essentially <laughs> cure. <laughs> cure a lot of the <laughs> well salt food. as a preservative for um food for and, meat is good and make it for so that it's you know they can eat it even though it's probably that's intense man really well i mean it's like eating raw bacteria, fish bacteria ridden. but if you salt it up then it's a little safer there's some fruit flies i hope they're not showing up on camera <laughs> i got i'm uh switching here to the um a hey, hey, real quick uh the yeah, lady please. who told me that story yeah. shout out marcia r wise she's a great lady shout out marcia she shout just marcia. recovered from cancer Oh no! Oh, shit. And yeah. I got to hang out with her, so awesome. shout out her. It's M A R C I A. You can look her up on Google. She's an artist. She got some cool art. Oh, nice! Oh, that's so shout out the old lady. So cool. Sick, dude. We're gonna uh, transition here to the music industry. Yep. yep. Um, here's here something. Uh, and this is coming out of uh, Ice Cube and a few other musicians. And the more aggressive your rap song is, the more money you get. Because music labels own the private prisons. I'll give you a moment to digest that. Hmm. 
That's a, that's very interesting. Isn't that kind of music labels own private prisons? Yes, they are a large shareholder uh, of of private prisons. So what? if your record is talking more than other records about murder or drugs or etc., you will get paid more for that record <laughs> because the influence it has on a population is more significant it and more, more likely more to lead people into, into wait, jail. So, so I jail. so Ice Cube said that. Shit. Ice Cube said that. That's very interesting. So this is his. Yeah. Is this is a conspiracy? No, this that, is facts. So he's he's like uncovering this. Yeah, he uncovered. He's not. I mean, just like I mean that makes claim. sense because if you like, know. if yeah. you if you think about the people that are rapping about it, how they're so pedestrian, yeah. they're just putting on like a fucking like show. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And they'll even admit that too. Like, yeah. a, I know they ask little tech on genius ones like. How many guns do you have? He's like, I actually don't have any guns. He's like, how many people do you kill? I actually, have never killed anyone. <laughs> yeah. Like, but in the song, you're like, you know, I, I just, I mean, that's, we live in a crazy. Wasn't world, that uh, Y N W Melly who was like, well, I mean, just, well he, he he just he like, definitely was, was not somebody. was not lying. <laughs> well, I don't know, but I, what he has is the tattoos. He had the tattoos yeah. of the two guys that died, and he was asked about. He got those on his face before the, they died, so it was kind of like that's crazy. I don't know, you man. know what I mean? Like you know, you get know, the teardrop. He also yeah. just like you watch the footage of him in captivity and it's it's weird as fuck. Oh, oh I mean he always yeah. What it, is it? It's like? like you're like he did it. Really? He definitely did it. <laughs> There's no question. That shit's crazy, man. Um ha- have you seen have you seen that video though? No, no. Is he just acting crazy? He's literally like in a room by himself and he's just like God damn. <laughs> he he asked for he's McDonald's like, I fucking or something it. like that. I totally and then he's like can I get some McDonald's? And they're like, sure. Oh, man. I mean, but jail will fuck you up, too, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know for I mean? sure. Yeah, that case is, yeah. I mean, you, you would know. I mean, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much every review is like, oh, God. My oh review God. of so jail. Bad. Dude, I just want to go to a Swedish jail. You do want to. Yeah. And like, like, I, 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 okay, I don't want to, but I want that you were to go to jail, us. yeah. You, you want that for us? You want me to go to Swedish jail? I, 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 I want that for us. Want I, I want that. <laughs> Why would you want that for us? That that means we've truly made it in life. Once we once we've gone to Swedish jail, that because means... that means that we're in Sweden. Uh, well, and we're, and we're doing like some fun stuff enough to get arrested, uh, like ASAP Rocky. Uh, no, you got to be pretty special to make it in the Swedish jail. They like, won't even let you into the Swedish jail, like even if you're like robbing, they're like they'll no, export no, no, you no, out. No, there, there's like certain part. There's like the high class, like white. Collar crime. Well, I remember seeing ASAP Rocky's uh, jail cell just look like a room at the Four Seasons. Did yeah. Trump pardon him? He did. Yeah, that's he right. <laughs> hey, I gotta go pee quick. Can I clap Please. and we'll teleport? Yeah. All right, and then I'll come back and clap again. You pee. And... We'll t- we'll wait for you. <sighs> Fucking up the flow. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay. I'm out of notes. It's okay. We're going to talk about the gym. We drink a lot of fluids. That's true. On the Almost Spicy podcast. Maybe we don't have to cut this out. Should I? Should I? No. You're like, should well, I pee? <laughs> no. I, I was going to say, should I cut it? But I guess. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Yeah. Because then the audio will still be synced, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't even know how long we've been going for. Like 15 minutes? Probably not long. Yeah. I'm tired, man. Yeah. Yeah. Drink that tea. I know. I've been slowly. I. I it's funny because I feel like I need more water. Yeah. That I need. I've got so many liquids, but I just don't have. Well, I barely have any water. You want some? Sure. Try to airdrop that. Airdrop. Oh, just no effort. It's a fucking waterfall that I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's whatever. It's fine. Get your ass back here. Where's this water from? This is St. Louis Park. The St. Louis Park on the tap. It's the tap. It's yeah. tap water. It tastes like tap water. It's St. Louis Park tap water. It tastes tastes disgusting. I at least it's St. Louis Park because St. Louis Park actually has good tap water. All right, it's can clean. I, can I clap? Yeah, clap. The... You ready? Yeah. And we're back. Just like that, we're back. Five, five, five on the clock. Oh my nice. God. And uh, here's one. I used to fuck to the Trollololo song. <laughs> we were talking about that. We're, yeah, that's why I wrote it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you never, yeah, you never saw a, the Trollo Lol back in the day on YouTube. No. The Russian guy. So basically, the story is, it's like this, like shit from the seventies. Like this Russian, like oh, well, maybe not the seventies. I don't know. How yeah, was that was a thing. But fact check. It's old. Yeah, it's, it's black very, and white. Very old. No, it's in color, but it's like it's old VHS looking. You know. Was it so this color? guy comes out. It's like a I don't know singing show or something. Yeah. Um. And I guess like right before they went on air, this is like the urban legend of it is like this guy was about to sing this song that was uh, deemed like the lyrics were not allowed or whatever by the government or something. So he had to go out and just kind of scat. And so he just like, oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah this it's is a classic, great. but I'm surprised awesome. you're not aware. So and then, and then ultimately the troll face, the meme, black and white troll face was superimposed onto the guy's head and like it's a it's a great bit did now, you turn the stereo off there no should i turn it back oh no it's on still okay I'll, I'll play it for you real quick oh, oh he's gonna i don't think go. this is copyrighted so i think we can get oh, away from fuck. this or so you say get away with this it doesn't even matter if it is <laughs> <laughs> okay i think it does matter a little bit we'll find out yeah. we'll, we'll get a, i mean it's not like we're making money right now obviously. yeah we gotta Oh yeah, our, our merch store is probably not up yet. No, it should be. We gotta, it's we up. We just it. you can buy stuff. We just we gotta put stuff. We gotta get on it, man. We gotta get on it. He's playing it. He's fucking playing it. Oh no! Open it up. Yeah, you never is... heard this? I can't recall. You never fucked to this? You 30, fucked to 39 this? 39 million views. I, I, I fucked every time. So you're the th- you're 39 million views. I'm 38 million of that. Fucking. I have 10 children. That. I'm, I'm proud of you. So me and Jaeger have been in the gym, and I wanted to bring this up. Yeah. Um, You're in the you're in the male, men's locker room, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. You? I've been in there. Okay. And so, so what? So I think it's so funny how like you might just go right past a guy and just, you know, nobody says anything to anybody. Yeah. But you're just like naked as fuck. You don't want to know these people. See, it, it's kind of funny. So, how do you feel about just being naked in the locker room in general? I, well, I was thinking about that today. I was in there and I was like, it's it's it's, it's the, the sort of thing where it's like if it's, it's weird if you make it weird. It's weird if you make it weird. Yeah. And while you're while you're there. Like I think it's weird. It's obviously pretty, pretty weird. It's, it's like this yeah. old old guy with gray hairs, or like right next to me, just butt naked, and yeah, I'm just like, uh, like, whoops. Not a great advertisement for my uh, for your studio. Uh, <laughs> okay, cut everything. <laughs> anyway, where were we? We were we were talking we locker were, room, locker room. Walk right naked. past the naked. So man. so no. How do you how do you feel about being naked? At well, the you were saying room? something. You said yeah. You said you were just thinking about this today. The men locker well, room. Yes. So. I'm consciously in my brain thinking this is weird. Like I'm in a big shower room full of other naked men. Yeah, it's wet. But it's hot. It's I'm not. Sweaty. I'm not yeah. like act. I'm not in the locker room like saying to like guys like, oh, this is this is fucking weird, right? <laughs> like I'm <laughs> nice not going cock. up like yeah. Like you just like you like the the situation forces you to just not say shit because it's yeah. weird. But, but yeah. it's less weird if you just don't say anything and you kind of just mind your own business. But then I'm like, naked. this is so cool. Like, it, it's so funny because it's, it's so intimate, right? Like, yeah. Especially if you pick, very, pick a locker right yeah. next to somebody. There's a thousand lockers. Yeah. And I'm, I can't even open the door all the way without touching the guy's pubes like a little bit. Or his chest <laughs> hair, I mean. Yeah. And then it's like, but some, okay, see, I'm quick. I'll tell you what I do. Okay, I'm quick. So I'm just like, I don't even get, give him a chance to see me. So I just, you know, put the towel up, bring it up the pants down under it's, the towel it's funny because i feel like i'm more insecure when it's like there's older dudes around and then i want to just like put a towel but if it's like people more my age i'm just like oh i actually don't care hmm. i'll just be full blown naked but then what about it is the older i've dudes. gotten i've gotten comfortable with myself where i, I yeah. feel like i can do that the older dudes so they, just, like they don't they, there's no sense of urgency 
for some of these no, guys. No, no, Some of, of these guys not. will just chill or, you know, they're like. They spend a, lot they, of, a long time in there. Yeah. I, I can't tell you how many, like, Minnesotan conversations they decide to have while they're, like, full-blown <laughs> naked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's God. like, oh, how's your wife, Tim? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, she's great. And yeah. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, like, I saw this dude. He was, like, drawing his balls off. And he was like, hey, Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thomas. Hey, come here, come here. And he was like drying his balls off, like actively, just like you know, had his leg up, was just like, yeah, yeah. like a bowling ball. Like yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude was, was just like, hey, his I'm little Mr. micro Thomas. micro fruit basket that he's got going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like, yeah, I'll, I'll like leave the locker room and talk to the lady at the front and be like, a lot of dicks in there, and and then she's like, why are you looking? I'm like, I'm looking to make sure that there's no no people with their dicks out, like. But I'm looking and there's dicks. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm I'm the monitoring guy. So I'm like You're weird. That's that's suspect behavior. What about <laughs> What about you ever, I don't you, know, man. You ever, you ever, you ever think at about because at that point you might as well just go around saying, Nice cock. <laughs> Yeah. I've ever told you you have a You're, nice guy. Is your guys' locker room slippery? You ever think about a guy just fucking? <laughs> I always think about me falling. The locker what, room what, is very slippery. And then my towel, like, and then I'm like, you know, and I'm butt naked. Uh, People uh, are like laughing. Honestly, you're, like, ah. you're you're the you're the one person I can see that like slips and like. It, it's the most like tragic like fall ever. Yeah, like when like, dudes like, like going to the grocery fully, store with the milk gallon. Yeah, they're like, you're, uh, you you oh, shit. <laughs> You Sorry. fully have a towel around you, and somehow yeah. it, you slip, you fall, it flies right off. You just land face down, ass up, like butt naked. You're just like, ah. no, I yeah, step on the moaning. towel. I step on the towel, hence bringing the <laughs> towel off. I fall onto another naked guy, like from the back. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. It's either I fall or it's I, a bear or hug. I, or I bear it's a bear hug, hug. Sir. So what do you want? And then of course he's like. And then, you for know. whatever reason, your tips touch, and then that's where Whoa. it gets. Oh God, that was better than what I was gonna say, and I don't want to get too <laughs> graphic here, but okay. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta walk Docking? like a, like a. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta walk real slow in the locker room oh, yeah. to not slip. Yeah, no, I got I mean, these it, like six-year-old Adidas slides that are just rotten. They're so slippery. They're See, literally you know what? That that this is that, that is that is my favorite thing that women or not women men do is they they always have a pair of slides that are literally <laughs> old faithful. They they probably have so much fungus and like bacteria well, and everything, and they're deteriorating. Yeah. They're deteriorating yeah. <laughs> at such a like low rate because they're like foam <laughs> yeah. slides, you know. But, but they, they're they're so they don't dry. Some of these foam slides are so thick they do not dry. Like for the unless you leave them in the sun, they won't dry. So it's yeah, like fucked. Yeah, I think about that I a think, lot. I think that I think that's funny. That's like a universal thing. Yeah, you, you find it in any locker. Flip flops are that's what I use now because it's like I can't do the foam ones because they don't dry. Mine are like sponges. Like when I get out of the pool or the shower or whatever, mm -hmm. they're just like. Yeah, you gotta like squeeze oh. them sometimes. I hate it. It's so nasty, and oh. then they're like yeah. wet for two days. Yeah, Dude. I used to love the uh, Under Armour like. Um. Yeah, memory foam ones. Mm -hmm. Those are Sounds those nice. are amazing. Oh yes, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those are like the spas. What happened oh, to, yeah. to ASAP Rocky's Under Armour deal? What happened to ASAP Rocky? Yeah, he had an Under Armour. Never deal? heard about that. Yeah, see, it was a shitty deal. Yeah, it didn't go. He must have dropped it. He had so many deals, so many brands. I, you know, now that I think about it, you, as you say that, yeah, he, he probably made way more money off brand deals than he ever did on music. Yeah, man. hands down. Yeah. I mean, that's why he doesn't like release like music almost at all because he's got alcohol. He's got a, this is alcohol. Uh, I think I think it's a tequila, if I'm not mistaken. Are you serious? Um, no, maybe it's not a tequila. It might be like a whiskey or a scotch okay, yeah. or something. Oh so, yeah, he was so, on drink champs. So, something like that. He'll come out with a thing and then never promote it again. Yeah. Nothing. My my fly was down. Oh, <laughs> you're talking, you're but he the he's board. got a he's got a major partnership with the Mercedes Benz, See, he's like got major so major really? partnership. He's yeah, got big deals. So like Aug, the yeah. they came out with the like, uh, um, how do I describe it? It it was a limited edition, like retro mod, Mercedes, that they like designed and put together, kind of like how Virgil came out with the, like that Maybach that shit was crazy. and everything. And then yeah. Drake wrote it around. Yeah. And so, uh, come, breaking news, and this is not satirical at all, 
Drake and Jennifer Lopez have added their names, calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. After they tell you they had enough. I just wanted to bring that up. We're talking about Drake. There was like a big list of celebrities that did some sort of thing. And Tim Dillon was like, you're, "Yeah, you're, in this Tim, country, you're Tim either Dillon. sign a letter or you're going to the call center." Well, what <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of the Selena Gomez situation? Do you know? Do you know, know anything, anything about, about that? Not familiar. Yeah, she uh, she said she's taking a break from Instagram because there was so much pressure. Because she she's one of the most followed people on the oh, yeah. yeah, she's got like four hundred million yeah, yeah. followers. Like some, she's up there. Some insane number, right? Yeah. And uh, like she rage quitted. Well, because like people kept saying, like you have to speak out against this. You have to speak out against this, and like, and instead she left. Well, she she said, "I don't support any of this. You know, this has to end." But mm-hmm. I'm taking a break mm-hmm. from social media because it's just overwhelming. She's probably getting pressure to say more than just that. Yeah, true. Using her platform. Yeah, that's the thing. It's getting really cold in here. What? Might just be me. Might I just think be, I think it's just you. It's just winter. Yep. Two. Yeah. It's almost spicy there. podcast. I don't know how long we've been going, but we're actually sitting down right now. Yeah, I was like, we talked about literally everything. Hmm. What about this guy that's our guest? Oh we're yeah. Sitting here with Jagger yeah. Brosi of Raven Space Recordings, almost spicy podcast. Where where'd you where'd you go to school? Like post secondary? Like fucking college. Uh, well, I went, so I, I graduated high school right as COVID was like, like really in its prime. Yeah. June of 2020. Mm. It was like my senior year got cut short. It it got cut in half effectively. And then yeah. like the second half or like after spring break, like before we went to spring break, my teacher was like, Take, bring your textbooks home. Cause I don't know if we'll be coming back. And we were all like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then, sure. of the and then we shut down. and then we yeah. never came back. Yeah. I never went back inside my high school after that. Not, you didn't not even graduation, huh? That's no. crazy. So I graduated in a parking lot over the radio. Damn. <laughs> over the radio. Yeah, so they That's had so they wild. had all the families. I went to a pretty small school, so it was like It's like was, a drive-in movie. It was like 54 families or something like that. It was pretty small, but so they're Damn. like they had this big parking lot and Can't they like, had everybody like park their cars like 10 feet by 10 feet away from oh every other man. car it was like this big grid of cars and everybody was in their own cars wearing a mask and then they had a stage at the front um in front of all the cars and the microphones on stage were like broadcasting out to a radio signal and then all the everybody in their cars tuned into the radio signal that's kind of interesting <laughs> that's so interesting. it was like it was on approach it was a, yeah. a way to do it, but I didn't. A way. I was a way. so so not happy to be there. I was like, was like as low down in the car as I could possibly be, like in the back seat, just like fucking like, <laughs> like if you've ever seen um, like a cat who really doesn't want to be at the vet. That's kind of how oh, I, yeah. how I felt. For that sure. Day. Why didn't you um, want to be there? Yeah, I'd given up on it because it was like, COVID already robbed every part of like. No senior prom, no. F- I had a girlfriend. Everything was going great senior year. It was phenomenal, and then it just all came, just came crumbling down. End. Yeah. So any reminder of what I had before was just like fuck this. Yeah. Like this sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, I do want to mention that uh, Jagger is uh, a musician. We'll 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 cover that eventually. But yeah. the, yes, yes, the yes. rest of the story. So after that, I graduated in June, and then uh, in September. August, September, I went to the U of M, University of Minnesota, for one semester. Uh, I did a lot of Adderall and failed everything (laughs) and dropped out. Wow. Hell yeah. Because every class was uh, online. Dropout gang. I I had a COVID (laughs) scare. I did online shit, too. Yeah, it was so stupid. It was like the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. I had to be a part of. And uh, there was one time... Um, I thought I had COVID because I was feeling sick in mm-hmm. my dorm. So this was like October of 2020 or something like that, mm-hmm. I, I believe. And um, so I contact. I was like talking to my mom. I was like, should I go get a test? Like they're definitely gonna make me isolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she was like, you should tell them. It's like the honest thing to do. So I was like, you're right. Mm-hmm. I really didn't want to do it because I knew what was gonna happen. It was not gonna be good. Yeah. So. 
they made me move into a different dorm building, so I had to move all oh. my stuff. You in- you had COVID? No, I didn't have COVID, but the test took like four days, so I was stuck in this room. And While so, the results were coming? Yeah. Okay. Because you remember how bad the testing was at the beginning. It was yeah, just it like... Was atrocious. And did they put it in your nose? I don't remember. Probably. I think yeah. it... Yeah, just fucking molest your brain. <laughs> like, it was weird, man. Yeah, what but... It was thing. some like Egyptian shit. They were just like shoving it all the way up to your it was, like, cranium. At first it was like... Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, like... Uh, it, was, it was painful. I know what you're talking Six about. Six inches or something. Yeah. But, yeah. So oh. they did this test and then I was sitting in this you know, isolated dorm room that had its own shower, which was really nice. That's kind of cool. But so I found out that I wasn't allowed to be opening my door. I wasn't supposed to be like opening the door at all. I was supposed to just like be locked in this room for an indefinite amount of time. (laughs) And I couldn't go out and get any food or anything. All I had was just like fucking, I I remember I had Nutter Butters, (laughs) but that was like it. The official candy of... (laughs) Is that a candy? No, it's like peanut butter crackers. The official crackers. peanut butter cracker. Was, yeah. Um, the crackers. But you'd have to order food. <laughs> and I remember a couple times I ordered food and they said they would bring it by a certain time. You know, I had to order it a day in advance and they never brought my food. So I was just like kind of sitting That's duck, crazy. like hungry. And so I actually. This is your actually, Joker origin story, right? Yeah. yeah. So I had, uh, I got really, really bored. I thought you were going to say I got really, the, really buff. No. <laughs> in prison no, no. yeah uh, yeah you were bored i was so bored so i started like trying to communicate with people with signs on my door <laughs> i would like draw these little pieces of art i was like you can take it if you want like here's yeah. my name here's my number if you want to be friends i was like desperately trying for some sort of contact you know this whole year was just like i'd been robbed of any like way to communicate yeah in right right normal ways so i started putting these signs out on my door and then i would go out and like look and they were gone the signs, like, not only the art, but the, the sign was there, too, and it was, yeah. like, didn't say take the sign, too, but, like, everything was gone. So I kept putting signs out, and then they kept disappearing. So I kind of put two and two together, like, somebody's, like, not okay with me putting signs up for some reason. Um, <laughs> so The conspiracy. Yeah, I put a sign up that was, like, it was real positive, and it was, like, a piece of art or something, and I taped it on the front of my door, and I, I posted up, and I had a little... uh. You know the the see the the eye hole or whatever you mm-hmm. call it mm-hmm. on the door. So I could I was always sitting there just watching people go by. I was like, oh my god, it's a person. You know, like somebody would walk by. And I'm like, did you have a stool or something? No, it was it was eye level. You would, you would stand there. Yeah, at the door. It was there was like a lower one, so I could sit and just kind of look through. Oh, it. so you did have a seat? Yeah. Okay, that was my question. So one time I saw, um. <laughs> this lady come up i was sitting there and like yeah. i heard footsteps and you know i didn't have any music on because i was like waiting for people to come by like days of like no contact with bunkered people. in with a sniper yeah. rifle <laughs> God um, damn it so i saw this lady take the sign and i was like okay this is war you know uh, she, she came a, up and took it was she yeah, like an older woman? yeah she was like yeah. administration or something right, i was gonna say so I put up a sign that said, keep taking my sign, lady. I'm going to just keep making them. Something like that. I believe just keep taking my signs. I'll just keep making them. Well, because she's knowing that to put the sign up, you have, you to, have open to open the, the door, door. Which, you know, was, was illegal. I, illegal or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I put that sign out and then I sat there and waited. I was like, I got to get this lady's reaction. I have a video of it. And like she, she comes up and like she does a double take at the sign. And she's like, what? <gasps> and then she like. Like this dude comes down the hall. He's like, "Hey, how you doing?" And she's like, "You need to keep walking. You keep walking right now." He's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and she calls like a number. She walks away like all furious, and then she comes back because she forgot to take the sign, and she like rips the sign off the door, and then she's like calling some people, and then two minutes later, I get a call from like U U of M administration, like, "Hey, we got a report that you're opening your door," and so, holy shit! Well, yeah. what what did the sign say? They got her furious. Keep taking my signs, lady. I'll just keep making them. That's what it said. <laughs> That's fucking. That's crazy, so I was like man. directly calling her out. That's gnarly, dude. Yeah, that was That's... that was like my favorite. That was fun. That's that's insane. Um, and then uh, yeah, the rest of the time I just like fucked around and failed all my classes, and then uh, I took a, a point on that is you weren't alone. Is uh, I think it might have been K through twelve, but uh, I think in college too. Oh, I think yeah. it was about three out of four students. 
did not pass classes with the Zoom era of COVID. Yeah. Like literally failed. Three out of four. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. I didn't pass a single class. I'm hearing now from from teachers in the seventh grade, you know, on the internet that the kids used to be able to read and write and now they literally just yeah. can't even read and write. Which is I mean it makes we lost so much. I, yeah, I mean my buddy, he's a teacher and yeah. he's experiencing that firsthand. Yeah. Especially like young elementary school kids. That's insane. Yeah. It yes, is, it is sad to an extent. Yes, it's it's. Uh, yeah. I mean, but ba- the, the education <laughs> department doesn't understand. want to do shit. Like, I advocate for good ev- education, but like, it's not not something that is a priority in our government. So it's not going to happen. No, no, it because, absolutely yeah. should be, yeah. but they want to keep breeding these stupid fucking people. Here's the here's the analogy: a flea has a thirty inch jump span yeah maybe i've said this before yeah you've told me to it. you yeah, yeah yeah but i don't know if i said it on the podcast so it's flea has 30 inch jump span yep put it in a jar put the lid on it now it only has a 10 inch jump span take the flea out of the jar it can no longer get to that 30 inch jump span it because thinks it's been, that it's it's been contained it that. smacked its head on the lid so many times it's like it can't jump that far that anymore. it won't do it it won't go past possible. because of the lid yep so that's it's just been, an analogy, it's so analogy it's, it's for been education. conditioned yeah. to so yeah. it's a, uh, it, it's been conditioned. Yeah, be like yeah, that. yeah, exactly. So, I mean, there's so much we could say. Yeah. Back to you it's specifically. A shame. Yeah, after that, uh, I worked at this sign business for a year. I won't say the name of the company because it didn't go well. Um, mm-hmm. And I there's won't. only so many. Sign yeah, companies. I won't say more about the people or anything, but not a good experience uh, <laughs> if you know about it. And uh, they sent me to this government facility i actually can't say anything about this on the air because i signed an nda jesus um and i've i've been there before i've never told anybody about it okay (laughs) nobody's ever heard any details of what went on okay in those chambers yes in the the hallways and the airlocks and everything yeah but it was crazy i'll just i'll just tell you it was crazy but then uh, I, I got to the end of my rope with this job because they sent me on some, some fucking errand with a, a rental truck with a trailer and then the ramp fell out of the trailer on the highway and then fucking, it was a disaster. And so I, I had to quit this job and then I was doing nothing. Like I was on this uh, snowboarding trip just with my buddies in Colorado, yeah. just like yeah. real dirty, just bumming it in this like motel in Leadville, Colorado. Okay. Shout out Leadville. It's a great place. Um Roadway Inn in Leadville. We were sitting there, and I was like, what am I going to do? I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I kind of just, on a whim, signed up for woodworking school at Hennepin Tech College in uh, Brooklyn Park and uh, started doing woodworking, and I I fucking loved it. I spent a long time, uh, about a year and a half, studying that. And now I have a bunch of cabinets and stuff. I have a really nice dresser will last me forever. The reason I got into it really was because I had this Ikea dresser at my apartment mm. and it was just like falling apart. <laughs> like, Is it the, like the Malum or whatever? The Like the material? No, like the name of the dresser. Is it like Malum? Malm. Something like that. Yeah. I know. It was like I, super, I, super. I know exactly what it is because yeah. I have one. You it's have what my one? TV is. Super, oh, super minimalist design. Um, yeah. Very modern. But yeah, it just started falling apart and it like couldn't even get it outside of my apartment by the end of my stay there because it was just falling apart in our hands. So I was like, what if I built something that would like, I know it's going to last because I fucking built it. Mm-hmm. And I, I made sure that like, you know, the way it was built was quality. So it's not going to fall apart. Now I have like a dresser that I'm going to, you know, pass down in my family, given that I have kids give it to my family like it'll be around for a long time and then and it's then really after cool. all this you picked up a guitar that was a long time before any of this happened i've kind of <laughs> just always had one and just keep playing it but um, you're, you're you're a musician yeah you're a producer you're an engineer you're a woodworker i'm uh i want to be careful what i call myself but yeah i mean i'm aspired to why, be those why, why do why do you want to be careful what you call yourself i don't want to like box yourself there's up. really really talented people out there that won't won't say that they're you know what they are and to even have them not not want to own the titles like even like I totally me, feel me that. at my shitty level i i don't deserve the titles but um 
I mean, titles are just a form of communication, right? So yeah. I, to, for, you know, I, I fucking hate titles. I'm yeah. going to be honest. I don't like, I, and I used to be kind of like in the mindset that that's like what I need to always have and like project myself. But I've just been like, I fucking hate titles. So you don't yep. call yourself a podcaster anymore. I've never called myself a podcaster. That's true. People, up. people, people call me podcaster, yeah. but I, I've never, yeah. I've never said and gone out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You, you can call me a musician. I don't know if I'd call myself that though. But that's lovely that you want to call me that. I'm very grateful. The reason, of course, I, you recently opened up Raven Space Recordings to the public to, to book sessions and book yep. and record music. Just the other day. So kind of why you're on here, too, I guess, to an extent. You're doing a press run around uh, your music studio. So <laughs> that's the reason. I mean, you know, somebody, my advice, it's just a form of communication. And if you want clients, you got to tell them. In something that they understand yeah. what they're signing up for and i know it's That's kind of the know. mo in the business world to like have these really fancy titles even if you like, I hate don't, don't do shit like like i'm a advisor oh my god i i corporate titles are bullshit yeah, they're yeah. giving the they're just to make people feel something about themselves being a right. vice president of this 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 yeah. who yep. the fuck cares fuck the vice president yep uh <laughs> and most of the time you know Come those people up. at those levels are not doing shit yeah, no, that's, that's a lot a of the thing. corporate that's stuff, but thing, this isn't yeah. a corporate situation. No, this is one guy. It's not even a sole proprietorship, which I you know, might might want to file for that, but yeah. that's a different thing. No, but erase all one that. Guy. Erase, I mean, you know, we all know about tax benefits, Schedule C and all that. But you at the, do. At the core, you do. <laughs> I'm you, here to you, you read. I did read <laughs> the uh, 1001 Ticks Bro and tricks read the fucking tax manual. 2023. Yeah. yeah. Uh, taxes for dummies. The tax I mean, guidebook. Yeah. It's the, the other title, but yeah, one thousand. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What? Well, it's huge though. What? What? So you're full transparency. You're we, you and, you and me are collaborators. Yeah. And uh, we work on music together, and uh, we're trying to get some music out. And I, I've enjoyed working with you. And you're a young guy. Thanks, man. Um, and I praise you. You're about five years younger than me. And you got this energy, uh, keep going, and you're very consistent. Yep. And you show up, and uh, I respect that. And the reason why I want our listeners to know that that that's why you're here is because you're, um, you know, one of my close friends and uh, collaborators. So thank you, thank you for having me on. Yeah, I'm glad course. to have made this happen finally. Yes, but uh, in your space here, yeah, the reason why I show up is because. Yes. I've planned to show up with people, and then they don't. Yes, sir. And that pisses me off. Yes, sir. Oh so man, I show I up totally because I don't. I don't want to yeah. do that. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, if you say you want to do something, why wouldn't you show up for it? Oh, I know. Yeah. Or or say you know, talk to somebody. You hit them up and you right. text them, and then, and then you, then you bail don't follow on them. through. Yeah, yeah. Type yep. shit. No, we've all been there. I've um, been there a billion times, yeah. and it's yeah. like the worst. It so you know, ultimately, and a few times, like once in a while, it's like okay, you had this, you had right. that, but it's and like, we've 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 been there where it's like ah, oh, we gotta like push it a day or whatever. But right. that's a different thing than just yeah. being like, you know, if you're trying to like start a band with somebody, for example, right? That's like, all right, these first few sessions are really like the most important to see for, if this will even work. for the trajectory of mm -hmm. this because it's like if you won't yeah. even show up for the first two sessions, yeah, like one session you? you come through and then the second one you're like I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, and bro. you, 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 uh, you've had some history, of course, um, with some bands around here. Um, we won't say any names. Yeah. Um, of course, now you're working with me, and with your own solo projects. Uh, yes. Others as well. Yeah. Try to work um, with as many. Andy. Yeah, Andy, at Strobist. Yeah. Go. Good, good dude. Glad yeah, I met yeah. him. And uh, what, what else, man? I'm trying to think. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, I, you know, I. I'm glad to have the platform to uh, say I want to work with more people. Yeah. I want to work with as many musicians as yeah. possible. Um, you know, I feel yeah, yeah. I feel blessed to have the uh, infrastructure to be able to make music. This is a beautiful place. Um, without giving too much detail, we're in your family uh, yeah. business here. Look at this these beautiful monitors here. Well, and something I said earlier, like I love spaces that just have been lived in yeah mm -hmm. and this is a space that has been lived in like yeah i've, I've actually stayed his... nights here before you know we have we yeah. sometimes will have the camper we have my family has a camper and we put in the big garage in there mm -hmm. and yeah you can sleep in there i was gonna it's mention oh, yeah. that's a good thing to bring up is your love for the outdoors oh and yeah your uh, ability to work with your hands can, what can you say uh from even a philosophical standpoint about 
the outdoors, your life, and uh, how it all ties back into your philosophy. Well, yeah, I I grew up out in Wisconsin, out in this like real country house, just surrounded by cornfields and forest and stuff. You recently told me you'd raise your kids not in the city, rather no, you'd absolutely raise your kids, not uh, on the on the farm. <laughs> Well, maybe not the, I mean, the farm would be great, but, um, yeah, definitely not in the city. I don't think that it's, uh, you know, I don't need to traumatize my kids too young. Like I live in the city and I generally enjoy it, but you know, you see, you see some dudes leaning over, you see some shit. You said you saw some dude like seizing out on the street. I think you said that. (laughs) I don't know. I'm sure. I, I, I've seen that. Have you heard of the, yeah. I've seen people freebasing and shit. You heard about this trank? Tranquilizer. Yeah, I saw it on the news. Trank, Trank's been like running rampant. Here. And yeah, it's and everybody knows if you don't know, Kensington, Philadelphia is kind of the hot spot right now for just uh, the zombie kind of world where you see people. Lit- that's what they're, they're leading. Yeah, they're, it's tr- horse tranquilizer, yeah, and fentanyl and other stuff. Yeah. But it's um, it's it's hitting Minnesota really strong right now, according to a lot of experts. So yeah. I mean, it, it is unsettling, like the, the level of homeless people you see. And how incredibly fucked up they are. Of course, the issue with Minnesota yeah. and the homeless is the temperatures. Is a lot of the option is just death with these right. temperatures. Right. Well, that's, that's and, the and, most fucked up part. Is yeah, like you yeah, see yeah. some homeless encampments. Like last year, when mm-hmm. at my old studio in uh, Minneapolis, I'd be driving home down Glenwood, mm-hmm. like in downtown, pretty much. Yeah. And there was this homeless encampment I would turn by every under night. the bridge. Yeah, it was like yeah. under under a bridge. And then, like, they just, like, the city came by and just, like, tore it all down and, like, yeah. kicked the dude out. And he was just like, okay, well, there goes your warm place to be. Like, well, my sister warm. was like, that dude probably just died. Well, I mean, they die. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. It's, it's so sad fucked here, up, bro. Yeah. It's like, like what what type of solution is that? It, it, it's it not is, a good one. Yeah. But it is a terrible, like, way to go. I mean, it, and it's so multi-layered with this is, everything. You know, like, you Minneapolis is it's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Minneapolis is not the only city where this is. No, no, not no. Every, it's just where we are, of course, city. what we've seen, yeah. you know. Yep. Yeah. But, but it is a major city. Like, of course, they say that Los Angeles, on the other hand, is one of the best places to be homeless because some of the social programs. Well, San Francisco. All, it, it, San Francisco. It's, yeah. It's one of also, the best places to be homeless. It, well, <laughs> Los Angeles you can is just the take worst from place because... Los yeah. Angeles, no. For San Francisco, San Francisco. Yeah, I'm fucking my own name. Up. Yeah, one of the best places because of the theft laws is you can legally kind of just walk in and grab what you need, leave. Weather's great. Relatively, it's cold there. It it, well, it is they, cold. They have a winter, don't they? It's a yeah, little north. Well, San Francisco in the summertime is sometimes can be like 40 degrees. Oh, really? Yeah. Which is also dangerous. But it's it's, it's like you know. it's coastal. That's that's why. Yeah. Like, but you get that. You get that nice ocean breeze. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, do you have any Ben? Any questions for Jagger? Um, well, I was I was going into my oh please, you're my, so my whole childhood. We haven't even touched. Yeah, we haven't even touched. In the, don't take this into a therapy session. No, please <laughs> go ahead. If you want to tell us how you tell us anything the outdoors, but please we Ben, anytime about you have any questions. Yeah, yeah. and we're well, talking I, about I, the outdoors. I, I, want, I want him to tell a story. Finish about speak the outdoors. His, speak his piece. Yeah. So I grew up out there in Wisconsin, and it was great. What, what, what part? Sorry, what part of Wisconsin? So like. Stillwater, like 20 minutes uh, east of Stillwater. So we're like, you know, we're out in the country a little yeah, bit. It was just sure. like New Richmond was the town that was closest. We were like five mm-hmm. minutes from New Richmond, uh, kind of downwind from like a turkey farm, you know. Mm. So half of the days it smelled like shit and half of the days it smelled like uh, pretty nice. Nice. There was a lot of farming, though, a lot of, you know, manure and stuff. So you get used to that smell. But Yeah. Um, yeah, you do. You have to. There's no. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no other way. But I loved. I loved it. Uh, we used to have three dogs, and uh, we had we had a super long driveway, so we you know we didn't leash up our dogs. They would just kind of follow us. And I don't know if you've ever done that, but that shit is the best. To to have that just connection like, wa- with the dog. Yeah, or? just like yeah. dog is uh, just following you. And I went yeah. to uh, the Czech Republic. I went to Prague a few months ago, mm. and. Yeah. You know, that's a big city. That's like a bustling city. But even yeah. in the city, they don't use leashes. It's just like the European mindset really? over there, like no dog is on a leash. I didn't know that. They're all so like well behaved as people. It's like we don't have that shit in America, definitely not. <laughs> um the dogs I, are, yeah. dogs. Dogs Europe, are dogs. Europe 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 is a crazy place, man. Mm-hmm. But Yeah. Um, and you you like Europe? Yeah, I'm a fan. Um I gotta go. I gotta go see more of it. But yeah. I've seen well, it yeah, a bit. Too. For my age, yeah. I'm very grateful. But I want to, yeah. you know, I don't want to stop there. 
have only seen a couple countries. Definitely want to see more. But mm-hmm. um, grew up in the country. Did a lot of camping in high school and you know past few years and stuff. Been on a lot of road trips. I have a big old minivan. Pack my homies in there and we just go. You know, go to Colorado. Or I love it. Yeah. yeah. Um, You're a snowboarder. Yeah, I, so I used to ski. My dad's like a ski instructor okay. at Afton Alps. One of the many things. Oh, yes. nice. Yeah. Afton's a good one. Yep. It's one of his side hustles. do a trip. I know you're doing a yeah, trip we'll, in February. We'll go. Yeah. yeah. We'll go. Um, we only have forever. Yeah. Right. We have <laughs> we have the whole winter ever, season ever, ahead of us pretty ever, much. Ever, ever. Apparently, Wild Mountain is already open for skiing. Ooh, really? It's like they had one snow and they're already just like, they're making so much I, snow. Well, I, yeah. that makes sense. Wild, the Wild Mountain's up there. They're, Where is that? It's, uh, it's like, Taylor's Falls. Oh, okay. Of I like it. Yeah. But, um, grew up skiing and then, uh, my two best friends in like eighth grade convinced me to start snowboarding and ever since then I've just been snowboarding. And okay. Yeah. Tremendous, tremendous fun. Yeah. Um, really great way to get a lot of activity in and just, you know, Colorado's awesome. I'm going to Montana pretty soon for the first time. Apparently. Badass, badass. Montana's a lot better than Colorado. Yeah. Mm. Now, what got you into music? Um, I always was like super attracted to it. I don't know. Um, I remember the first like piece of music I ever got, Mm -hmm. like that was my own, was my dad made me a little mixtape of (laughs) the uh, first Gorillaz album. Really? I don't know. Do you know that album? Of course. Yeah. So we reference it often here. Yeah, I remember (laughs) Loki. Loki, we have the second time we reference that. Okay. (laughs) Um. But yeah, that was like the first album I ever listened to. The first music I really like. You know, I I'd heard music before when I was like three or four, two, three, four. I heard music before, but I never. I have this. I have this memory. This is this is a a story in my family of um, Mm -hmm. when I don't know. I think on like Elmo or some shit like. There was uh, Edvard Grieg's Hall of the Mountain King, you know, the... And that, sh- that song Songs scared the time. absolute fuck out of me. Oh, like, I, I remember being scared scrying, by some weird shit like Crying that. and screaming and I was scared by freaking Count, out. Count Tro- Count, not, not, not Chocavilla, Count Dracula, Count <laughs> Chocavilla. Count Choc- what, what, you Chuck, you know the guy? Chuck Miller. Count whatever Dracula. on Sesame Street, yep. He was oh. scary Count, to me. The Count. The Count was scary to me, bro. I would turn that shit yeah. off. I won. I was two. Turn, bro, you got to three. I three. I turned that hoe off, man. <laughs> but yeah, weird. music has always like really animated me. Like I've, I've always really loved it. Yeah. yeah. Like there's pictures of me when I was like a little kid with instruments and stuff. Um, I've always been around it, and I guess like the the way I started guitar was I had a guitar. Like my parents got me like a little Squire Mini or something when I was a kid, and oh, we also yeah. had Guitar As Hero on the Wii. So I, I would play Guitar Hero like obsessively. More than your guitar. In, in first grade, I remember coming home every day to play Slow Ride by Fog Hat on you Guitar get, Hero. You couldn't beat I it? I couldn't do it. You couldn't beat it? Like an that, expert. On easy. Like I sucked. Damn. That's and like the easy, eventually, that's like the song. Son, yeah. where'd you find this? Yeah, I slow. eventually I, I got Slow Ride down and then my uncle came over for Christmas or something. And I was like shredding on Guitar Hero, you know, se- six or seven years old. Okay. I was like, look, I can... I can play guitar, and I'm he was doing like, "One by Metallica." Yeah, I was like, "Look, <laughs> look, Uncle, I can play guitar," and he was like, "No, you can't. No, you can't." He's you a he's he's a he's a <laughs> music teacher, nothing. so you know, of course, oh, yeah, he's yeah. like big you know, opinions on Guitar yeah. Hero. Yeah, and many other things. He's a good dude, but okay. Um, anyways, I digress. He's listening. He probably not. Well, if you put this on your Facebook, he's definitely listening. Well, hi, hi. Uh so so he said you're not shit. Yeah, he, you ain't shit. Yeah, seven year old, you ain't shit. You don't even speak English yet. You hardly can read. <laughs> um, so I guess that was like that was sort of like I remember that as being like I I'll, eventually I will show him that I will be able to. You just kind of internalized that for your whole life, and that's what made you so good at guitar. <laughs> that's like I never heard of, the story. One by of the, the way. <laughs> things I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Therapy. Like in high school, I. I was always like interested in guitars and stuff. I remember in seventh and eighth grade, I, the school I went to, they had like, it was like a Montessori school. Oh, wow. So um, we were allowed to just kind of fuck around for a lot of the day. And we had this loft in our classroom and I would go up there and we had acoustic guitars and I would, nice. you know, my teachers would always be like, Jaeger, you got to come back down here. I would always just like mag- magnetize the acoustic guitar. And then uh, the guy 
we had uh you know we had this like elective class that was like uh it was like a music guitar you know basic guitar class mm -hmm. at my school and uh the guy who's teaching it basically just like let me help teach it because i <laughs> was i was a lot i guess well you know in eighth grade i wasn't like a prodigy or anything but i knew some chords and stuff so he was it's like, all self-taught yeah yep just sitting Pretty there for, like figuring it out by ear yeah yeah um so gorillas with that mixtape but in your family blood there's a lot and i'm just gonna speak for you the grateful dead yep and i th believe your father has seen grateful dead about 14 times i mean it, i'm looking here like even well, at, we, should, at the, we should film some of this at, stuff. at it's the beautiful like vinyl here. collection oh, but just like yeah. spinning my kids inheritance like that says a lot right there <laughs> right, right right like it's so honest yeah. like it, we should get some it, it, footage of these uh, yeah uh, it's just a beautiful yeah. yeah my dad's a character for sure oh, your dad's like, i mean he i got a lot from him uh artistically like he he used to be a a visual artist he was an architect for a long time oh, wow. now now yeah. he does a lot of ceramic work and stuff mm -hmm. um some of his works on the wall will point it out yeah yeah his, that's cool. i mean we have a lot of his stuff all around in here um yeah. he uses this spot as a studio sometimes for you know if he feels like painting or whatever Badass, um, man. shout out older people like you know doing uh, their over thing. 30 yeah. that are still expressing themselves yeah through art. I said, tucker carlson was recently on theo vaughn he's changed <laughs> a lot but basically some of his <laughs> opinions he was you know saying how like there's really not shit to do but, except by like, changed a arts. lot it means he's not a under the fox he's not a puppet anymore puppet like, yeah he's still now he's just a he's just a, i mean he's it, still he's still like a right-wing nut but like now he's now he's more of just like a nut he's like yeah like, you know but he's like he even admits that he's going crazy but it's like at least it's honest now because like yeah. he was such a like just a liar before but like that's a good interview you guys should check it out but um, no, I mean, really Zin Zinarunsky, bro, the right. Zin, bro. Right. Shut up. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to get some for this. Yeah, but okay. Packing, a, packing an upper, <laughs> upper decker, upper and lower. Oh, the old upper decker. So oh, that is what I was gonna bring up uh, as we start to maybe approach the hour mark. Who knows? Um, you are currently doing the uh, God's strongest soldier. Yeah, no, I, I mentioned you, it to Ben. You told me, and I was just like, wow, you're really. You're going for the medal of God's toughest warrior. Normally, warrior. people would do no, not November, <laughs> which is okay, that's one. He said it's November first. No. <laughs> but you, Jagger, are doing no nicotine November, no caffeine November. We already failed. Yeah, and I mean, no, no alcohol, no, no coffee November, no coffee November, and no, no alcohol. No, I alcohol. think that's going to be the easiest one, honestly. No alcohol. Uh, alcohol, alcohol, is, alcohol is easy. easy Even with the temptations out. of Los Faroles red wine from España, we got a Pinot Noir today that we're drinking. This is just a test of your willpower that you can see us enjoy this, but you're not. I mean, obviously we're pushing you, if but it, it's, we commend you. If, if somebody <laughs> told me like, "Hey, you can't like drink," I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, yeah." Like, I, thank you. Great. Yeah, no. So I, I, I don't drink a lot as is. Anyway, here's so. here's what happened. Yeah, Run past couple it. weeks. How this many is, milligrams of caffeine do you take? This is why. Uh, well, you know, the past month, you know, I've I've been coming to the studio in the past month trying to get it to like really, you know, get momentum going. Coming in here every day, so I was abusing cold brew. Emphasis yeah. on abusing. Like you go go to the store, buy this like. 28 ounce 32 ounce uh, i think it's 32 ounce cold brew jug yeah and i go through that in about two days oh and so each Christ. 12 uh 12 ounces Your of system. coffee has about yeah. 270 yeah. milligrams of caffeine and so i drink about double that every day two cups a day for that's, the past month that's literally crack dude i was so strung out and i it kind of came to a head uh the past week just like massive exhaustion i was sleeping like 11 hours a night past week but anyways so i just moved it in, into this new new place mm -hmm. um and uh this guy i won't say his name mm -hmm. and he'll he'll never see this but um a roommate a roommate who was there before i got there and before i moved in uh there had been some rumblings of him having some drinking episodes or something like that mm. i was like okay well you know the guy who owned the house made it sound like he's going to be done with it or that, like he's he's turned a new page or whatever. Mm. So I was like, great. When I moved in, he definitely had not. This guy smelled so fucking bad. And I'm sorry. If you do end up listening to this, I'm sorry, but I got to call you on your shit. 
You smelled so bad. You were drinking constantly. I don't know if you were eating. You definitely weren't showering because... <laughs> sad man uh yeah it was it was so sad to live with this yeah. guy um but i didn't know him so ultimately i was like am i gonna let this guy pull me down if i try to get to know him and help him like he's definitely gonna yeah. fucking pull me down yeah. like might that's just, how it works yeah you might I've skip been, a few showers put, yourself. put, put yeah. your mask on before you put somebody else's on yes exactly that's yeah. the airplane thing it's so true yeah. um so he uh maybe three weeks ago or something sure. now three four weeks ago uh i took a bunch of mushrooms and we got a cut after that it's really intense for you to say and no, i'm sorry go ahead i'm just joking, <laughs> I'm just joking. okay i'm sorry a bunch of mushrooms. sorry if that triggers anybody he was booming i was booming booming, booming in my bedroom I and booming want some more i was i was tripping pretty hard you know i was deep in the sauce i was having a good time and then yeah. i go to the bathroom and i hear my roommate like I don't know. You can. There's this guy on YouTube who's like, I was a severe alcoholic for 20 years. I, I barely made it out alive. I've been sober for 900 days now. And he's like, you know, he does like this example of what a severe alcoholic is like. And he does this thing where he yeah. like drinks alcohol and then he's like, <coughs> he like gags on it. Because that's like what severe alcoholics do. So sure. I go to the bathroom and I hear him in his room just like <coughs> doing the same noise from YouTube. You're right. I'm like, oh, I, I know what this is for yeah. sure. And I had heard about him drinking. You know, it was some coping mechanism for some people that died or something. Sure. Terrible coping mechanism, people. It's not healthy, yeah. Not a healthy yeah. way. Drinking yourself to sickness and the level of sickness. Just keep listening, folks, because this guy gets really sick. So I'm I'm on the shrooms. I watched this whole Willie Nelson concert. I, I was transfixed by it. Like, yeah. I was having such a great time. Mm. Um, Willie, Nelson, Willie Nelson at the U.S. Festival. 1983 great show look that up i don't know if you like willie nelson but if you if you're into that and yeah. you eat some mushrooms you're gonna fucking love it yeah but is your phone on do not disturb by the way yeah okay yeah, it is. i hope we're still going we're still good okay yeah anywho yeah so i'm booming yeah and i hear him gagging i'm like <laughs> get all this fucking guy it's fucking a loser and so i i eventually i just kind of pass out and i go to sleep mm. i wake up at two um, and I I gotta go pee at two in the morning. I open my door. The bathroom light is on. Like we are in this hallway. Like he's at one end of the hallway. I'm at the other end, and in the middle is the bathroom. Okay. So I go out, and he is actively retching into the toilet two in the morning. I don't know if it's him that woke me up or not, but it doesn't really matter. So I go back into my room and just pee in a jug because he's you know. He's not moving. He's on the toilet. Sure. You yakking. And the door's open, so I just I didn't even like leave my room. I just opened the door and I was like, okay. Close it again and peed and went to bed. Wake up again at five. He he actually woke me up this this time. He's like retching loudly. And it's like it's just dry heaving. Like you can hear that there's nothing coming out. So I'm like, okay. So I start spectating you know from inside my bedroom i can hear him yak and i'm like you know i'm just sitting there like you know just listening kind of analyzing live you know like joe rogan <laughs> on the ufc just like <laughs> commentating in my head like he can't he, get it out yeah he, he, can't he get needs it to out. get the big one but he really can't he and can't. you know he he needs to get his fingers back in there and uh, pull the trigger okay so he finally gets the big one and he stumbles back into the his big one's nice yeah. Sorry, yeah yeah i heard him you know the, the there was like liquid in the toilet so i was like sweet Going back to bed. So I go back to bed. I wake up again at seven. He's yakking again. Same yeah. same or sort maybe of still going. Yeah, same sort of thing. Jesus. <laughs> so at that point I'm just up and you know I Well at seven. Yeah. You better get to the fucking gym. Yeah, so I kind of dilly dally in my room for a little while. Um I let me see. I go to the gym like nine or ten AM. I come back like two hours later, 12, and there's a fire truck outside of our house. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I've seen this before. You know, I've seen emergency vehicles outside of a house before, and sure. it typically doesn't mean good things Not are go great. happening. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I just kind of, I go in through the back door, like I park in the alleyway, like behind my house, and I go in the back door, and like I go inside, nothing's happening, like nothing's going on, but... I get to my hallway and where his bedroom door is and there's like this red liquid on the ground like 
and it fucking stinks like vomit and i you know i go up and inspect it and it's like this red like fibrous you know think um stomach lining oh, God. mixed with oh malibu <laughs> coconut rum oh that's the smell and so and you said that's like a perfume yeah it was very perfumey mm. very rotten and mixed with bo and this guy was also smoking cigarettes in the room with the windows closed oh, now God. now this is my bedroom by the way he, he <laughs> so i'm sorry um he it's not funny but it is so i don't know what happened really while i was at the gym thank god i wasn't there though because it would have been traumatic as fuck oh, because yeah. There was bloody vomit on in the carpet on the floor and also just in the sink where I brushed my teeth just like. Un, you ever, you guys ever drink water from the sink, like no cup, just like. Yeah, when I'm brushing my teeth, yeah. But like, did you swallow it? I usually spit it out. You ever you ever swallow some? I mean, yeah. I'm so sure. If I you have, were to yeah. do that, that's you know, it's a bad place for that blood to be there. Anyway, continue. Yeah, and dude did not even try to wash it down. I guess you know he was just waiting for the the paramedics to come. So. Basically, he, you don't know if he called them. He did. He did. He'd called him himself because I texted the dude. I was like, yo, uh, I'm going to have to complain about the bloody vomit on the floor. I'm going to have to complain about and, that. And for the listeners, you are a Norwegian. I'm Norwegian. So, so to complain is not, <laughs> it, it takes them a while. It takes, it know, takes so a it's lot. Like, hey, um, uh, it, the, I'm the, sorry. The incessant, the, I'm sorry. The incessant puking. Yeah. It, like that, that was like, a certain thing. Not, I get it. I, I, I get I it. I drink too. But <laughs> that's exactly yeah. how it went, bro. But I, I kind of so like nice. lost my patience with it. Um, yeah, of course. It was just like, this is an assault on my senses. It smells bad. It's oh, fucking God. horrible to look at. Uh, I mean, the situation's bad. This dude obviously has a massive issue. Right. Um, Needs to get help. It's not sanitary. This is a yeah. biohazard. How Literally. do I know that this guy doesn't have hepatitis or something? There's his blood all over the place. Facts. Uh, I don't fucking know. This guy's a lot older. And you're naked. Uh, no, I, you know, I might've been before when I was in bed, but you know, I come, I, I had gotten back but from I, the gym. I wasn't naked. This is, sure. this is tangential and yeah, not, not, yeah. not important. One, one is naked when they come. So basically this guy left, went to the hospital. He was gone for a week. Didn't clean up the vomit. Jesus. So the guy who owned the well, house the cleaned, hospital, cleaned yeah. it up. Yeah. Okay. And then he just, he showed up one day and like, just like threw away some things like left his room a total mess but i guess he threw away the liquor bottles so kind of him to think to do that so thoughtful but he left a dirty mattress and a ton of vomit under the mattress and like empty popcorn bags and like a a gooey fucked up cart and like oh one of them delta seven like like a leaky you know a a delta four (laughs) that's just been legal (laughs) that's 10 years delta f yeah, it's not even a number on that. Bag. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like he he just showed up, threw a couple things away, and then he went and checked himself into inpatient. And I was like, "That's great," you know. Yeah. Honestly, you know, for what I could have hoped for, that's that's pretty fucking good. That he, yeah. he, I wrote in the letter, I was like, you know, regardless of if he gets help or not, I really hope that he does because obviously this issue is bad. Yeah, this guy is like dying right now. Yeah, um, it's not easy. So, uh, I wrote my letter. I was like, I don't care if he gets help, but he can't stay here because wow. like, this is, landlord. this is not what we're fucking doing here. Mm-hmm. This isn't like a fucking flop house. I guess it is though, but <laughs> whatever. But What's the now he's out. For us that- they have steam cleaned the carpets. I'm going to put new carpet down. I'm going to repaint. You're going to do it? I'm going to repaint the walls. Um, You're going to get reimbursed for the carpet? Probably not, but it's fine. You're so Norwegian. Yeah. What does that mean, a flop house for us that don't know? Uh, have you ever seen Train Spotting? No. Well, watch Train Spotting and take note of the house where the baby dies because that's a flop house. Just think people on the floor doing heroin. Uh, like that Breaking Bad scene? Yeah. Okay. And there's just like dirty laundry on the floor and like the, and everybody, the lighting yeah. is very dim. and Flop house. A so flop it's, house. It's, so it's not a rehab. No, it's the opposite of a sober house. It's no, the sober it's, house. that's that's a. Yeah, it's the opposite of a sober house. A flop Safe house, house. A is flop like house. like a trap house or a flop house. It's just it's like a rehab without not, the not without the constructed guy, the guy. The and leader. so I moved in there assuming that I was going to be living comfortably and like undisturbed, but no, it was not the case. It was not the case. But was now case. you know for the same amount of rent 
this guy's out and I get his bedroom and we're, we're going to thoroughly, thoroughly clean it. And this, then this guy desecrated this fucking room. You have two rooms now. Now I have two rooms and a bathroom to myself, so. Thank you know, God. Come it on. all works out, yeah. listeners. Yeah, gotta have faith. Oh, fuck, man. This has been crazy. I, um, that's an intense story, man. Uh, do you guys want to take a, yeah, well, take a here, moment? Yeah, yeah, no, please, please. Here's the thing yeah. at the very end. That's please. why I'm not drinking. That because is because yeah, I was on mushrooms. You're very good at getting back to the original point, by the yes. way. I'm not. Well, no, the, you suck at that. Fuck you. That's the whole reason I was telling this story is because that's why I, I don't want to fucking drink anymore because this guy, he's like 28, looks like he's 48 and is fucking puking up blood because yeah. Yeah. he can't stop drinking. And I really don't want that to happen to me. And also a thing about mushrooms is apparently it, it can really help with uh, curing alcoholism. That is true. I've so heard that. I felt I felt very blessed to have those two things happen in the same yes. night because like now I'm like I don't I don't even want to drink. In fact, yeah, I'm yeah, not that's gonna. The thing. And yeah. I well, feel yeah. I feel good about not doing it. And well, trust me, folks, I've gone down the rabbit hole of drinking fucking super hard. Oh yeah, and, yeah. Like, seeing people get sick and being the sick last myself. Saturday. <laughs> oh yeah, you were gone. Oh god. Well, Ben, ben next, you were just he was just telling yeah you oh. were just telling me about how. Um, at work, you know, some people are getting fired and you don't fear for your job because you're not drinking on the job, which in the restaurant world, it's, um, it's a, sometimes it's normal. It, it, it's, it's, it's normal. pretty good. Co- well, especially if you're a bartender, like yeah. you're in front, you're, you have to taste something to make yeah, sure exactly. that it's, and a <laughs> lot or, of times or somebody buys you a drink, one of your customers buys you a drink. Yeah. Well, happens, that, right? that, that has a little bit, a lot of times not places don't allow that right 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 you know but, but so it's, the, it's not the, illegal for for these people to, to the, do that right the, the work around a yeah. lot of times is they're like they're making a drink and they make it wrong not that they okay. make it wrong yeah it's just they're it's in the shaker yeah there's still like some left and oh, they'll yeah. just pour it from the, themselves okay, okay, and just you, you. yep like yeah no alcohol is definitely it's, i mean it's a dangerous drug man <laughs> you'll wake up one morning just shivering with a headache and like you have a oh god like right. you're cold that was last weekend and that like was you, you can't weekend. pee but you have oh, to pee and so you have bad. to vomit that full moon bro that full moon i i blame like, I don't, gone, bro. you know you're shivering and you're like about to die oh, and you're like, i don't was, i don't think the booze is helping my head yes. was banging, really not bro. helping me bro my I, head was banging bro i i had literally the worst like hangover the next day so bad i was I, you I were nev- fucked, dude. You I, were fucked. I, I never. Do you even remember seeing me? I do remember that. I, I what what I couldn't believe was who who the fuck was that one girl that came up as, and was like Francisco's over there, just so you know. And I was like, at that point, I was like pretty, pretty gone. Who, if we want to talk about girls, who was that Bianca Sensori girl next to you? <laughs> we don't have to say any names. We can we can go off air right now. We ain't talking about nothing. We got, we got, we got to cut this. <laughs> yeah, we, got, <laughs> we got to cut this. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out, shout out, Bianca Sensori. No, she's censoring. Yay. Back to the Kanye West podcast. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I, no. I, I, I can't talk about that other part of it. But I, what I, what, what I will talk about is just. Yes. You I, were gone. I was gone. You and were fucked. I was really fucked. Yeah. And you can finally say fuck. It's been five minutes. Nice. Oh. No, that no, that full moon the next, next day, Halloween the weekend next day was, was crazy. Not fun. No, bro, I woke up. Sunday I blame like, Mark though. I blame Mark. <laughs> no, bro, like you're saying, bro. Like I was like, Ma- no, Mark. Mark and his girlfriend, they they bought shots of vodka. Oh hell! And they were just doing uh, shots of vodka, and I was I like, feel like, Mark's tolerance is crazy. Bro. Mark's tolerance is crazy. He is a monster. But like, I wanted to do tequila, and they hate tequila. And can't it's like, hate tequila, see, man. See, that's what the thing. But, can't hate but, tequila. but tequila, tequila goes down a lot better. It's and better it, for you, yeah. and I won't like puke. No, as especially bad if it's agave, of course. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I, I, it was so bad. Every, as long as it's day. not Jose Cuervo Especial, nope. Yeah. Everybody out there drinking Jose Cuervo Especial or silver, you're just drinking nothing. You're it's drinking just nothing. It's just Ugh. sugar water. That brown stuff, the brown Jose Cuervo, that made me throw up one That's time. The just worst. like even tasting it. God, like, if I, no we were drinking. in L.A. We six years ago. Um, I don't know if you, you don't think you were there. Me and Lucius. Um, no, I wasn't. And Charlie, yeah. yeah. Um, we didn't know what agave it was so we had seven bottles of this stuff in five days and it was just horrible we're like why is this the worst thing ever it's because it's not 100 percent agave if you're listening make sure your tequila is 100 percent agave it doesn't matter if it's milagro or 20 dollar bottle they'll still give you the good stuff don't drink jose cuervo especial thank you very much that was a psa get yourself a nice expensive bottle of patron i mean patron is okay like yeah butter 19 whatever the don julio is amazing yeah, yeah. sure there's so many good things but even don, jose cuervo has <laughs> a version that it does that is good casa azul 
That's great. But no, Cuervo has their um fifty dollars centur- a shot. Centen- Centenario. It doesn't even say Cuervo on it, but it's their brand yeah. and it's good. It's it's yellow, but um, yeah, it's been PSA man. or Trader Joe's shit. Trader Joe's has even like, they have probably an agave. Dude, they got such good stuff. Fucking sh- mm. yeah, man. Trader Joe's. So yeah, you were gone. This is. <laughs> This has been crazy, man. It, it was funny because we didn't even plan that. Like, it no, just oh, so you told happened. me where you were, and that's how did, I ended did. Up I there. yeah, we were texting, and you were like, "I'm at Ground Zero. Shout out Ground Zero. I don't remember texting you that. Well, you were fucked, you, dude. Your eyes were like you were. Like, dude, I smoked a cigarette. Oh boy, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know you were gone, man. That's crazy. It <laughs> was. Fact, it it was literally. That, dude, it, I smoked a cigarette. Could you it, pax tobacco? Could you put yeah, the, you could yeah, you, the packs? Yeah, 100% you can. You know what he does with his packs? He uh-huh. puts a little bit of weed in there. Not a little bit of, yeah, a little, little, yeah. little bit of water in there to like, if he had some dry Yeah, stuff, you told me about extra that. Extra vapor. But it, but it wasn't working for other deals. Um, so you smoked a cigarette? That's crazy. No, because cause, uh, uh, Mark's girlfriend yeah. wanted to go outside to bum a cig off somebody. I mean, when you're drinking, yeah. And then... And then Mark and they were like passing it around, and then I was just like here, and then I just started like. <laughs> Did you just keep it? You never passed it. <laughs> no, no, I gave it back. Okay. But so you like, didn't smoke a whole I didn't smoke a whole cigarette, but like still, but it's still your first cigarette. That was my first. Like I've smoked cigars before. Yeah. Okay. Which is arguably worse, but yeah. like, well, you don't inhale a cigar supposedly, but you're not supposed to. You probably yeah, <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent did. Yeah, it's like, oh, am I doing this right? I, I was, I, and well, it's funny because the cigars I smoked were Cubans, like well, real hand go. hand Ooh. rolled wow. Cubans. Hey, don't get my guy fucking giving him thoughts and emotions. No, I can handle it. I, I have the ability to say no to things. Yeah, smart. see, that's the thing. I do you. Do you feel like you have an addictive personality? Uh, yes. I mean, I've definitely been addicted to shit before, and it's been no good. Yeah. But I've seen, you know, I feel like I, I've been brought up in an era where you can very easily find some bodies if you do enough searching. If you, you know, peek behind enough curtains, you are be like, oh, that's not good. Bodies? Yeah. What do you mean? Well. You, you see. If you want to go down the path of drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of drugs that'll kill you, and oh. um, it you don't have to go looking very far to hear about somebody who died. I mean, I, I, I've, I, I, it's weird to say that I've been lucky, but it's not inherently lucky. But I've seen, like, and known people who've gone oh, down, yeah. yep, very dark paths, of with, course, yeah, yeah, with yeah, things. Yeah. And uh, no, everybody's got, everybody's got something. Even everybody in my somebody. in my graduating class alone, we had. Probably six, six plus deaths. That is super sad. No. From yeah. overdoses. From overdoses. Yeah. Wow. Fentanyl. Related and, and we're talking and about a heroin a, and a predominantly white upper class. Well, I'm not going to say upper class. Upper middle class. I mean, yeah, middle class, know. something like that. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, Chaska. Cha- Chaska has you know the full spectrum of they extremely yeah, poor yeah. and extremely rich. Yeah. No, I mean th- that's the thing. Addiction is not. Uh, it doesn't discriminate. No, no, it doesn't, and that and that was the one of the things because it there were some people that were definitely not well off, and there were some people that had made, you know, they're from mm-hmm. extraordinarily wealthy families. Yeah. Uh, there was actually uh, one kid, um, I don't know if he overdosed, but I'm pretty sure he did. But he was the son of the Snap Fitness founder. Jesus. So they wow. had like a, I mean, big cover up. Big, big, big money, like tons, tons, oh, of, okay. tons of money, tons <laughs> I mean, of money. That too, bro. But yeah. he, and oh, he and his his father had problems with drugs, and then yeah. you know started Snap Fitness, and you know, I mean, the society, really man. well known, well known entrepreneur. But yeah. he, yeah, he supposedly died. Uh, I think a year ago or two from probably a co- cocaine addiction. And that's fucked up because I mean, it's probably some fentanyl in there too, yep. and it's like. Yep. It should have said, man. It's something about society that leads <coughs> people to like work, 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 work. And so you got to do some of the drugs too to keep yeah. it going too, you know. When it's, you're talking about some not CEOs good, bro. and stuff, you know. It's not good. And I mean, there's so much shit that will just like ruin you so easily if you let it. And yeah. like, I've learned that lesson pretty hard, seen some really bad shit happen to people close to me. And it's just yeah. like, you know, I... I feel like I have a responsibility for myself and everybody else that I know just to not go off the deep end like that. Yeah. Because I have I have the ability to, you know, I'm in control, control. of my actions. Yep. And that's if huge. my actions that's lead huge. me to mm. 
self-destructing something's fucking wrong yeah yeah and you say that right now and it could get to a point where you might think that but that could no longer be true you know what i mean what do you mean like i mean i feel like the shit sneaks up on people like you might think oh, you're absolutely. okay but you're you know can you check to see that's is, is the battery good on that it looks like it's yeah really i mean it's so good yeah. Okay. But we'll probably we'll probably cut in a second. Just make sure yeah. everything's good. I just yeah. want to share one thing that I've been living by. Yeah. Uh, philosophy, because there's so much thing you know with the war, like the history of the war, and then with the future. Yeah. Are we gonna even survive as a species? For me, I've just been trying to be both present and smiling. I've been trying to just that's it. Yep. I want to. That, yeah, that's hard. I, I'm just present. I'm I'm trying to do that myself right now because I've definitely been like going through it not just like i feel like we're put in a place media wise where we're just being shoved with all this like negative oh yeah fucked up things that are happening in the world and we live these such monotonous lives that just continue to break down our own mental psyche and we are using like alcohol and drugs and stuff to escape and we might not be abusing it but we're still like using it and it's Mm -hmm. yeah it's still a, a it, whatever a, cr- a crutch. It, it, yep. it is a crutch, and I'm still trying to like find ways to like ground myself and be like, yes. okay, like th- this is not, you know. Yep. I think the biggest, most important thing is like, even if you are going to do that stuff, you need to remember to pump the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I've had it like quickly like get out of control, and I'm like, I'm spending a lot of fucking money on this. Yeah. <laughs> this is not uh, yeah. not it. Yeah. So I mean, you have to have yeah. the ability to just white knuckle it. And get through it and God, like say easy. no to it. Yeah. But once Duncan Trussell, God bless him, he has yeah. talked about this. He was like, I was drinking, like Charles Bukowski. I don't know if you know who that is, but he was an alcoholic author. He mm-hmm. drank like a motherfucker. Yeah, I've that's heard the name. most most authors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> degenerate. He's kind of like the one alcoholics. Yeah. yeah. Oh gee, shit. And he was like, you know, he Duncan Trussell was thinking. He was like, why am I doing this? So I wake up every day with a hangover and it's just kind of like the way it, that it is. And like, why is it like that? Yeah. So he was talking to his AA sponsor or whatever. And he was like, um, you know, I, I, he was like, it was a beautiful sunny day. You know, I'd been sober for a little bit, a couple days and I was trying to hold on, but it was like Sunday and it was sunny and it was the summer and I was out at the grill and I was making burgers and I was, you know, I had to call my sponsor cause I was like, God damn it. I want a beer right now. Yeah. And he was like, yep, well, you're just going to have to white knuckle it for right now, dude. He was like, fuck, man, you're right. Fuck, man, you're right. <laughs> you know, Duncan, <laughs> Duncan Trussell. Love him. And uh, then he was like, you know, one hour later, I didn't even want the beer. And I was like, wow, I, I, didn't, I don't even want it anymore. Yeah. And I'm going to feel way better tomorrow. And um, I guess what I've found is like once you start making those small decisions, like I'm going to say no to that. Yeah, kind of can it can start snowballing. That was one of the Huberman uh, things, and um, you know, mm. say what you want about him, or whatever. Put it yeah. like he's got some good stuff, but like yeah. one of the things was like, I think he said, say no to yourself ten times a day. Yep. So it's like, oh, I want to have this drink. That's one no. So stop yourself there. I'm gonna sleep in. No. So it's like <laughs> you can still drink if you. So by that theory, you can still drink even if you. You could ask first yeah. if you're craving it that much. You just have to tell yourself ten, ten times. times. No. No. And then on the eleventh time, you have to drink. Then you can okay, be like, yeah. "Well, I tried." Well, but then, it's, but then at that point, you see how ridiculous it is, and it's like, "Okay, yeah, yeah exactly." Whatever, you know? Yeah. I thought that was. I thought it's that's a great a exercise. You know I, mean? I it's it's very interesting because I don't drink a lot as like a lot of my counterparts and coworkers and stuff oh, like yeah. that and a lot of times because like we'll go out after work and i mean the only reason i'm not drinking is because i have to drive home right like mm-hmm. literally otherwise you probably would and, home. Yeah. and like mm-hmm. i've seen the first hand instances of like getting a dwi oh, like God. with my Don't own get me started bro. my own get people that are around me and like the levels and steps that that took just to avoid you know i mean serious i mean like not even talking about like the legal fees which were like thousands upon thousands <laughs> yeah, of yeah, dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. but like just the whole you you had to do schooling after that you jail. had to do yeah you p- might potential, do a weekend in jail uh, you know yeah literally and, and, and when my you know my dad told me it's like to have your freedom detained is just like yeah. holy fuck yeah. and i i just have always been like i don't want to go down that hole yeah. yeah especially like that's what alcohol does it makes you literally 
care less. It it yeah. closes the doors to perception, whereas other drugs open them. You know, psychedelics yeah. or whatever is a good example Not of that. Not psychedelics. You know yeah, I mean? that yeah. opens the doors to perception. Yeah, but alcohol. And the reason, you know, I used, I did a lot of psychedelics and it was like, I did, I did enough where it was like, I have too much to unpack here and I have to be done. And then it was like so much to unpack that I just started drinking to kind of get around it. Mm. But mm. I realized at a certain point, it's like, no, unpacking it. right. But I, was, I realized at a certain point, it's like, no, this isn't going anywhere. You have to unpack this yeah. and you have to feel these feelings. You have to work through this stuff sober and you have to. Then, then you can start thinking about drinking or whatever. But until then, you need to, like, you need to work through th- some things first. And that's the, you know, I, I don't, I don't know if this is necessarily the uh, place for it. But people, you need to educate yourself if you're going to do psychedelics. You need to read about it a little bit more. Mm, sure, sure. Yeah, that's my only piece of advice. You can read Albert Hoffman's book. Uh, LSD, my problem child. That's a great one. <laughs> There's a lot of other books, and um, I would encourage everybody to look up some uh, case studies from def- the '60s. It's definitely the place for it. Uh, we promote education on this program. We are uh, pro believers or believe strong believers. Or I am. I can speak for myself that uh, education and knowledge is uh, it's one power. Of the most knowledge is tools. power. Yeah, for sure. It's not just a saying. Yeah, it's very true. And then yeah, no, those the psychedelics are. Uh, I mean, it's just so interesting how criminalized they are certain ones um mushrooms are becoming less obviously yeah. but it's just like well, I mean, if you had everybody like seeing some of the stuff yeah like, here's here's know, the thing man is like might not go to work after, before yeah. i did it i was like this shit should not be illegal like yeah. free drugs for everybody but then i did it and i honestly felt more like they you know they're in the right classification some of them are like i mean they, some of them Shrooms they're are like different. people do not know how to deal with these fucking substances lsd is, diff- is like like you know, it's I don't it's a think, chemical that's different. So I would say that I don't think it should be illegal, but I I think that where we are at right now with it being illegal is good mm. because not as many people are you know we don't know very much about it and people are taking it LSD among other things. But yeah, what about mushrooms? What's your stance? I mean, it's a lot uh, a lot easier I think to deal with. Yeah, and it, and the the legality is changing on that rapidly. Yeah, yeah. But um, there's still a lot of pushback though, and, and ultimately what it's happening is being the capitalist state is obviously taking it. Yeah, they're you know it's like a profit. huge huge money thing. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's it's not a party drug, you know. No, <laughs> you don't you don't have to do very much of it or for very long at all to realize that it's like oh I don't want to be in. Like a party. I know people who have gone oh, to the Mall yeah. of America and tripped, and it's just like, you yeah. know, they they ended up having a horrible time. And I was like, what do you, what do you think was going to happen? <laughs> yeah, would it? You like you went to the worst place for that. Like for you're like going to trip. First time it'd be weird. Like but if you were the biggest mall be... in all of America, like that's where you're going to go. Yeah, like dumbass. <laughs> but you know, if you 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 know who you are if you're listening to this, and I still love you, but you can't you can't do that. And I think a lot more people could benefit from uh, realizing the fact that uh, you have a lot more at stake when you do that stuff than you realize. Okay. That's true. And that's coming from someone who's very experienced with, with the material. Bro. So I'll, res- I'll respect what you say. Uh, th- th- are we close? Are you, guys, you guys think we're, we're pretty good? I got up and up. I think we could keep going. Keep going. Should we take, yeah. let's take a, let's take a take minute, a little, see what happens. Break. Ladies and gentlemen, Almost Spicy Podcast. We'll be returning very shortly. All right. Uh, the angle's still the same. I'm hoping in it. Yeah. Are, you, are you on 0.5? No. It looks better. Okay, I know. <laughs> I just hope I'm in. Okay. You are in frame. Don't 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 worry about it. Thanks. You're in frame. Um. Podcasts. We should, we should make we should make some clips. That's what I'm feeling. Clips. Let's go do yeah. some clips. Should we do a, a what a hinge clip? No, let's do. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's let's do a hinge clip. What about hinge? What's what's the, what what is there there? Or no no we shouldn't do it. Not a hinge clip. <laughs> so what kind of clip? Um. Um. I mean, we can we can have the hinge conversation and see if we can get anything out of that. What well, keeps you up at night? Hinge. Hinge. Yeah. Why why does it keep you up at night? I'm thinking too hard. Yeah, uh, about what you're gonna say. Yeah, yeah. And then I n- never end up saying anything. 
Yeah, that that can be a common thing. On Hinge? On Hinge. Well, just like in dating, general. Dating, dating apps, people or just in people, general. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like we overthink too much what to say to people. My hair. Are you getting new hinge picks? Yeah. I'm just trying to get my hair right. They're already fucked in the first half. <laughs> I just put it down. Fuck. That's the thing about long hair. It's incredibly difficult to manage. To wear headphones with, apparently. Fuck. <laughs> I just fuck it up. With that. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try that. to just like... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Francisco is trying to Francisco, redo. Francisco, Jose, Jose Francisco Gonzalez. Hold on, we can't use that. That's yeah. You just doxed me. Fucking. And I also better if I put the racist down. accent. Yeah, that was fucked up. Cut. Okay. Amigo. Amigo. Oh, that's fine. We're never doing headphones again. Jose Francisco. Jose Francisco <laughs> Gonzalez <laughs> in this doxing. corner. Is then we can add reverb to that in post. <laughs> it's just like an echo chamber, just yeah. like bouncing all around. Everybody's like, See, ah. those are the right headphones to have if you're fucking not trying to get your hair all yeah. fucked. Facts. See, that's hilarious for you to say. Because <laughs> you've been like, I need to have over the ear headphones. <laughs> I need to have over the ear headphones. Now you're coming to the realization that it's like how low key, I know eventually you're going to go handheld. Like it's only a matter of time. Uh, you guys hear the they, can, <laughs> they can make it transmit good enough over wireless. And that's great. Well, I mean, but look at that though. He doesn't have anything on his head, and he looks like yeah. he looks perfect. But wires. We got wires. Still too. have wires. Yeah. So what keeps you up at night? Is this the same audio? Why can't I hear ghosts? Um. <laughs> 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 why? Why can I hear? Yeah, we have world. some ghosts here, but it's all right. It's all right. I would say, Actually, um, well, yeah. so there's this clip on YouTube or Instagram or something like that, and it's like, is there anything more terrifying than being alone with your own thoughts? And like four people, it's like four clips of four people like being like, uh, no, like definitely not. <laughs> that sucks. And then like the fifth dude is like, uh, yeah, like rapists and, um, <laughs> People with mach- uh, automatic rifles and um, terrorists, and it just keeps going on. Yeah. What are, what are your thoughts on that? I think that's pretty uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. That's like a damn bro. sign of <laughs> that's a sign of the times. Damn, bro! I didn't know they were out here like this. <laughs> hey, yo, that's crazy. Yo, <laughs> bro, you're. <laughs> Yo, my God, that's crazy. Yo, okay, so, uh, well, what? So you, you were asking me what to say to this girl, huh? You yeah. Came, you came to me privately for advice. This might not air. Okay. What were you looking for? I don't even know where to begin, and that's the that's the big issue. Begin so with what? How how to begin the S- conversation? So that's what the, I on, that's always the tough on, part. Let us know. What I used to do is I would look at the profile and I'd look for something in photos or something along the lines. What kind of profile? What are we talking about? Well, the Hinge profile, of course. Okay, we're talking about Hinge specifically. We don't, nobody uses Tinder, nobody uses Bumble. Hinge Hinge is the most successful. Right now. Yes. Okay, we're talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sure, exactly that. There's always, there's always some, I mean, that's the point of those accounts is to give you some sort of premise to go off of in the conversation but yeah and so some, you're doing no not november some well this is separate but there's it's, a lot it, we're gonna find out it's the same thing there's Let's hear it. there's a lot of premises that are not so good on hinge some of them are golden like i put on like i know the best spot in town for re- reggae music i thought you were gonna say something else yeah yeah reggae music oh and this girl asked reagan music where's where's the spot What's this? I want to know about more about this reggae spot. Yeah. And I was like, mm, uh, you're going to have to come out with me if you want to know anymore. And she was like, all right, deal when and where. I was like, that was so easy. But some other conversations just drag on. Like, how do we how do we get to the the thing, the root? of? So the that problem. was like that was a good one for you. Yeah, right. But some of them are a lot of them are not like that. Yeah. And and you're and now you're on hinge because and we're not going to get into that. We're going to we'll, we'll get back into the no, not November. Yeah, some that's a good one, and some are not like that. 
So you're, you're asking... You have to try and work off the best thing to, like, get a conversation going. Some of them are, like, ring dingers. Yeah. And a lot of them are not. And and a lot of them, I wonder, why are you even on here? Right. Some like, like, just, like you, you clearly... Like, you clearly... a little bit. You clearly just want to waste time. What I was told everyone. is it's a validation thing. Now, think about exactly. how some of these women, how some of their, uh, their likes are looking. They're... They probably got about 30, 40, 50, They're 60 over, overwhelmed people yeah. that are waiting in their queue or whatever. But he asks, you know, over here at the, at the bottom of the list. So your odds are not well. And they don't even look through good. the people now. Now, this is what, something I was told. And I'm not sure if that's how it works. Say it again? Basically, that it's like a validation thing. They're not actually interested in talking to these people. It's just like, Oh, look at all the, it's more form of likes How on Instagram. Yeah, so gives you a it, number of likes, you have but, a number but of this matches. Is, but this is like a proof that you're actually like attractive. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Cause I look mean, at how real, many people I'm people. matching. Yeah. With. Now are they probably, are they probably talking to some of them? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Well, I understand a lot of people on there are looking to be in a committed relation, not not committed, but like in a relationship. In a relationship, right? Right. some trying form to be of, not single. Yeah, yeah, and then some. It says specifically Coffee you season. can you can choose. Um, yeah, you can choose exactly your type if you're an open relationship, monogamous, etc. I got a whole bit. I'm gonna bring out the phone in a sec um, on the hinge. Um, mm. So, are you looking for a relationship, sir? Yeah. You're looking to find a girlfriend. You've had a girlfriend in the past, and now you're looking for a girlfriend. This is my uh, my little my little uh, yeah. My, this is my 15 year old cousin. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna not call you any any like I had a neurodivergent hot, I had thing a really on hot here. Girlfriend and she had big boobs, and then she broke up with me, so I was really sad. Oh. And I'm trying to get another one, but it's hard. It's hard out here. I'm sorry. How big? Super. <laughs> okay. Uh so now oh, you want another girlfriend. Super. <laughs> uh yeah. Another Bungos. girlfriend. Okay. And now you're coming to your to your older brothers looking for some advice. I get that. I totally understand some that. And sage, we're here to give it to you. Sage wisdom. Sage wisdom. We've, Almost spicy podcast. We've been through it all. We've ran through the city. Oh my god, we gotta cut that. Literally, not physically. Exactly. So, who's the? I'll give my take, and then you can give yours. Or? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Everybody knows, not everybody. So I, I, okay. I found the only. You know, I came out of a relationship, and then you know, got on the app, whatever. Looked at one guy. Everybody probably knows this person's name is John Zerka or like Bradley Martin. Then people like like influencers that are like they try to put you on games live streamers um oh that shit yeah basically like not it's like red so, pill space a little bit not really you gotta like try to riz up a girl on fucking discord or whatever i don't even know honestly what i'm talking about all i know is it yeah, is a good idea I'm to lost. get to the coffee date immediately because you don't want to spend time on text you knowing can't, you can't reveal this formula on on the air i mean somebody else did so i would argue like, differently but but that's just me. Let's argue because I'd like to get your eyes open. I'm not saying because I I have done that. Yeah, I I have had that like quick. Yeah, yeah. And then it just goes nowhere. Well, that happened. Yeah, but. And I feel like I feel like there's a perfect there's mm, that perfect sure, sure. medium sure. of you have a little bit of talking. Okay. Before you actually there's, meet yeah, that exactly. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it kind of like. The I guess the best way to describe it is like you are you get lubed up for the fucking meeting you know like you're, person, you're, yeah. you're, you're yeah. ready to like slide in but of course there's there's the there's the oh my god there's a moment <laughs> that took you a second too much. That took yeah, you a I know second. it did take me a second I was like <laughs> I knew it was there but you can learn too much you could all of a sudden know somebody's whole like where they grew up their what their parents do for work too where they soon. do it and you haven't even seen them in person, so right. That's what I you know what I mean? avoid because I fucking hate texting. Yeah, I'm sick of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, it, it's almost the second or third message that you're gonna send to this girl. Like we gotta get it. The second or third message. It could even be the first. 
Right. Could it be the first? But we've got to. Like, What's the message? We're not here to like have a like a an old friend conversation, like long discussion over text on Hinge. No, we're, like, no. Trying to set up a meeting. You're like, okay, right? so she, so okay, you, you liked her picture. Let's uh, let's set it up. You liked yeah, your picture. Yeah. Okay. She yep. accepted the fact that you liked your picture. That's all that's happened. Now, are this you going to wait true. forever for her to message you? You shouldn't. She's not going to. Right. I now, have to like. F- you have to go. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Ben was getting into this off the air. You have to go onto the profile and pick something that you see that you can work with. This is true. Now, I noticed on the profile, because I saw the profile before we started filming. There's not a lot to work with there other is, than... There, there, there is not a lot to work with. Other nope. than her looks. Right. So, and, But she says she likes Minecraft, but... Well, there you go! She's autistic! Perfect! <laughs> just just say, me too! Yeah, I was going to send her a picture of an old uh, castle. Don't do that. That's a, that's a trap. That's a fucking trap. Any girl who says I like Minecraft on their shit, that's a trap. They ain't, they ain't made a castle like I did. As soon as, as soon as somebody falls for that trap and sends their own screenshot of their Minecraft, they're like, "Oh, this guy's a fucking." This guy's actually autistic. <laughs> and they and they turn you off. Exactly. It's a filter. That's, she's genius. That's why. I'm, and I it's not because she's I'm afraid of the Minecraft. She, she, I can't even take this seriously. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. So um, what do we do? We have to not fall for the trap. I no, I this think whole See, here's the thing. I think it's perfectly fine to shoot the shit about Minecraft. Cuz I think that that right there, that's your starter. That's your way fucking in. Right. Cuz it doesn't mean yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to that's the only thing you're no. going to fucking talk no, no, about. No, 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 no. That's it's just how you start a conversation yeah, yeah, and then yeah. naturally work your way yeah, yeah. into I I think you kind of tease her. Kind of like Minecraft. Yeah, right. Girl like you probably always, you know. When the hell did you play Minecraft? Something like that, yeah. you know. Or this is a classic from the internet as well. I bet you don't get hit on a lot because you were intimidating to men. That's a fucking terrible thing to say. As most attractive women are intimidating to men. So that just that just say that. Right. I bet you don't get hit on a lot. That's a fucking terrible thing Why? to say. Why? I I've listened to too many people talk about that and immediate turned off by that. It's an ick. It is an ick. Who's talked about it? Like women in your life? Yeah. You've sp- and they don't like when they hear that? Yeah. What if they're lying? They're definitely not. Francisco. Okay, so you say the Minecraft thing, she's going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she's going to respond some bullshit. Fuck what she responds. Now, please help yourself. We should get coffee. Get to know each other better. Maybe I'll show you some it's Minecraft weak. pictures. Nothing of that. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing of that. Boys play Minecraft. Men do not play Minecraft. I don't know about it. I don't know. You asked us. I don't know. And then boom. You got a spot in mind? Where are you taking her? Uh well I don't have a spot in mind. You gotta figure out a spot. Spot's important. The studio. No. We you just asked her to coffee, not to your dungeon. Oh I, I love this I place. Some coffee here. That's true. This goes to the most important point of this whole thing. She has to meet you in a public location. Yeah, to feel safe. To feel like, safe. Oh, yeah, come into my dark warehouse. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, immediate thought. Uh-oh, Serial battery. killer. Gonna get chopped yeah. up. Battery. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Does he only have one battery? No, I got another battery. Are we we're still on this one? I don't know. Yeah, we're still live over we're here. We're still on that one. So you pick a spot. And it's not very hopeful. You didn't like that advice? Well, I don't know how it's going to go. I'll I be honest. To, I have I, to do something. But n- 90% of that stuff I wouldn't do. So Can we listen? <laughs> okay, let's hear yours, Ben, now. Yeah, what would you do? You had some advice. Yeah, I would. God damn. I, I mean, the parts, the parts of taking somebody to coffee, yes, I think that's very important. And, like, just getting to a place where you meet the person. But I think another thing you also kind of have to, like, protect yourself from is if you like notice things immediately that just don't seem right it's totally worth just being like thank you for your time but i don't think this is going to work out yeah and i think that and that on text right you can't say that in person can you (laughs) yeah you can you definitely can say that in person 
They have the right to do that. Yeah. Oh, no. You're going to finish this one hour meeting. How are you going to? And we're going to walk away from here. But, but, and if you don't want to hear it anymore, you're going to text me that. But, but, but here's the thing. (laughs) But here's the thing. A lot of people actually respect that more than just like having their time wasted, especially now. Like, yep. I think like people at least my age respect that a lot more. And you're 45. Yeah. He's in his mid 40s. In my mid 40s. Can we bring the soundproofing in here? Do you think we need it? I don't think we need it. We should have done that at the beginning. I know I'm joking. Um so you've you've walked out of first dates? No. But you reserve the right. Yeah. I've never I've never walked out of a first date. But you're saying he can. Yeah. Anybody can. Anybody can. But we're talking about you. This is the Jagger episode of Almost Spicy. I this isn't the anybody episode of Almost Spicy. <laughs> well, Maybe, uh, yeah, I, I, w- I might do that if I'm not feeling it, but tell know, her, I feel, like tell her that. I f- oh, uh, how well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I reserve the right. Just so you know, I'm, I'm probably going to walk out on this date <laughs> because homie told yeah. me on a homie podcast told me to, that know. I could do that. <laughs> Maybe that would work. I'd have, I have no idea. She'd be like, uh, huh. But yeah, that's the wow. thing is I'm overthinking val- it too He hard. values time so much. Yes, tell her. <laughs> changes, tell me, changes the entire I think opinion. the thing that yeah. it historically has been the most successful for me is like, it's sort of like the thing of like people always give the advice to new performers of like that are nervous is like once you get up on stage, envision everybody in the audience has their only, only their underwear on. Basically, what I've sort of figured out is like, if you if you meet a hot chick, and some of these girls only do have their underwear on these profiles, by the way, please continue. If you meet a hot chick, mm-hmm. uh, you can't really like fawn for her necessarily. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta, you gotta like, I guess like one of the better ways you could do it is like envision it's your old homie or like it's like a dude that you aren't attracted to, and then you can talk to her normally. And this goes with that with that influencer was saying he was ta- he used the cat and dog deal. Oh like, yeah, girls don't want the dog. It was like, you know, let me suck a titty. They want a cat who's like chilling by the corner, just like right. Meow. You know what I mean? Meow. Second point, scratching scratching the carpet. Exactly. Yeah. So you said that, and what was the other part? Um. Well, that was pretty much it. It was just like that. Oh, an old homie. So the fa- the. At first, you're like her brother, like, haha, cigarette, it's cool. Yeah. And then you switch into her father, like, no, I don't think you should go out tonight. <laughs> and so, like, why do you keep making Freud right? <laughs> he keeps winning. <laughs> well, I don't get that. You don't know about Freud? I you don't know about Freud. I forgot about Freud. Everything revolves fucking your parents, yeah, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. So, it's a, a thing you can try to look for in people <laughs> is you're right. notice. How their um, partner might look like them or their parents. Mm. Yeah, or how like deep it's down subconscious. Well, attraction. also the astrological pe- pe- signs. People, there, there people too. that have daddy issues, severe daddy issues, yeah. stems from absentee of father. Mm. Yeah, and deep desires right. to then in sexually a lot of times um, just to have them around, but then it ends up yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I I forgot about Freud. Oh my God! You can't you can never forget about Freud. Hey, Sigmund. Editors, edit out my burp. I didn't even hear it. We didn't get any of it in the audio. It's definitely in there. Oh, I didn't hear any of you, it. Well, now that I mentioned it, people are gonna go back and and really analyze the clip. Analyze. No one's ever done anything for <laughs> for this, <laughs> so I don't think they're gonna do that. And okay, by well, hey, my, editors, uh, my burp. No one's just... ever. Li- no, not even that. I'm saying no one's ever like. Commented on this podcast. <laughs> hey, the editor. Except no, no, you. No, 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 no. That's, not true. That's, not, true. That's, know, not, that's true. True. not true. That's not true. That's true. We get a lot of hate. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We, we, you have gotten some hate. We get love. We too. get, yeah. Well, the, everybody knows it's harder to love than hate. We have to publicly address this. You guys have received some hate. We always publicly address we, it, and I'm done addressing do. it. What's a, what, do, what do you have to say to the haters? I know you guys are watching. Um, The haters. Can buy some merch. Honestly, yeah. They can buy some merch. And that's about it, though. Fuck off. That's tremendous. I hope you you heard that. Yeah, now you interview us. Yeah, 
Yeah, so, please. Francisco, you this were born in Mexico City. You got to stop doxing me like that. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what what was that like? What was that like? Oh, born man. In Mexico City? Uh, it was and nice. It was sunny. Yeah. And the reformation that it has now. What is the defined reformation? Like, like reform? Um, All of the cotton the candy. The art. The art renaissance that they're having <laughs> down there. You see. What? Mexico City What's having the, question? the art renaissance down What about there now. it? Now. What now. do I think about it? Yeah. Because it's becoming the it place to live right now. That's just from a... Uh, yeah. That's lar- I mean, it's a great place. Yeah. It's always had that culture, though. Yeah. That's but, but but we've been seeing, like, now more... I mean, there's... Because now, big, there's, yeah, there's more people. Yeah. A lot of Americans, because of uh, the work from home thing, your salary is doubled out there. Damn. Kind of. Almost, basically. Because you don't have to pay a lot of taxes or what? Uh, No, you're just... The money's stronger there. Well, it's like the the... Comparing the wages, like, what somebody earns here is, like, the dollar's pretty strong still, too. It's mm-hmm. not even about, it. yeah, obviously, yeah, imagine the minimum wage in Mexico used to be uh, $8 a day. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And now it's, um, now it's, like, eight an hour. <laughs> so that's, like, crazy. That's fucking nuts. It's quite a lot better. It's a lot better. But it was eight dollars a day. So you were working under that for many years. Yeah. Well, when I was one, I got my first construction job, <laughs> and I was working uh, with poo poo and pee pee. And um, <laughs> then I graduated, of course, from med school. And the the number one thing I remember from med school was the stethoscope. The stethoscope. The stethoscope. The stethoscope. The scoobity whoop. Have your parents had colonoscopies yet? <laughs> yes. Probably. Probably. If you ever the age, of I know. 30, my, I know. I know. My it. brother. My brother has had one. Why? It's when he. Uh, Why are you just dogs him? <laughs> got his appendix removed or something like that. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. It's just it's part, like of part, part of part of part of the tests. He, and now he's good. Just yeah. Kidding. So now he's gay. So any any last hinge advice for Jagger from Ben? Uh, you get, that was pretty good though. What you gave, you gave, that was good. Yeah, no, that was good. I don't even know what you said, but it was really good. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> you said that. Um, I well, I, I I think like the biggest thing, especially. Just, oh, you said you can walk away. Yeah, sorry, yeah, you can walk away. But also, another thing is just fucking have fun with it. Yep. Don't take it too seriously. Yeah, for sure. You got to fucking loosen up. Because I, I feel like if you take it too seriously, you become that motherfucker that's like, fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. going to respond to me, you fucking yeah. bitch. Oh, yeah. And then you get like, entitled. I just poured entitled. wine into matcha tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's, it's, yeah, and that's and that's, and it's, it you sucks know. to feel that way. Yeah. Cause it, yeah, yeah, we've all we've all been yeah, there. Yeah. Just like wow, you get just get ghosted on. And Your hair's a little funny over here. It's over here. Other side. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just what it does. I've never seen that in my fucking life. <laughs> it just does that. You look like a fro. I don't have a fro. I got waves. No, it does suck to feel it that does. way though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some, and I'm not saying this. Yeah. Some will say it's a numbers game. It some is, yeah. some will say you Dude, miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah, it's uh some of some of the shots are uh they 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 don't have tremendous odds backing them. Well, you got to take some three pointers sometimes. Yeah, you got to unless you're a fucking <laughs> exactly. You know how are you gonna ever advance in your you gotta, rust in your career? You got to try these things, man. But yeah, it's daunting. But yeah, I've heard that if you're feeling uncomfortable or out of your comfort zone, it's a generally a good thing. But there are I say exceptions that to that. On the air, you send the first message to this uh, nice young lady. What do you say? Huh? I say right now while we're on the air, you send this first message to this nice young lady. What do you say? <laughs> I say, all right, but you got to help me let's type it out. Crap. Let's type it out. Let's type it out. Let's type it out. Come on. Come on. I, I want to see the full profile. Yeah, let's see the <laughs> profile, buddy. Let's put that on the screen. No, no. no we're we're the not going to do that. Do we're not, not going to do that. <laughs> This this man, you gotta stop saying shit. 
Stop, stop saying that shit. All right, so shit. no specific details about her ethnicity. We already we already said that. Okay. No, no, no. no, we, no. I already did mention that. I, I don't. I, I'm with you on this. Yeah, I won't don't, anymore, don't but I no, did. No personal details Him, about who this is. He, he's the problem. All you know. Hi. All you know that this. <laughs> the only thing you need to know is that this is a girl. All right? They, thank you for the clarification. All right. So this is not a not a tremendous uh, thing that I liked. It was the only thing on her profile that I could really work off Heat of. Key to my heart is being weird. That? Wait, say that again. I didn't really hear it. The key to my heart is being weird. So. The worst thing about me, I like Minecraft. I we, mean. We're going to have to bleep all those details out. I don't think so. We, we yeah. don't need to. That's not like super. I mean, this is hoping that she sees this. I hope that she won't. I hope that you actually develop a relationship with her and that she does see this. That would be kind of funny. Well, she like she is really cute, not going to lie. Yeah. I like the I think I think like guess for this. There's definitely a couple ways you could go about this here. Right. I I feel like the uh, a lot of the prompts that, the one thing that I like about Hinge is like the prompts kind of help you not just have this like a dry yeah conversation oh yeah but like the whole like guess where this was taken type shit um you can joke with it right you can some of this. yeah you can either joke with it or be like hey like i've been there before mm -hmm. which i have a very weird memory about places so i'll see people in places where i'm like there's like no detail to where it is but i'm like i know exactly where that is if i get that feeling of what you know where it is mm. What tell you, her I get to say that I get a feeling that I know where this is, but can you fucking tell me? I get a, <laughs> where this is. I get a feeling that this is somewhere in Minecraft. No, sometimes I'll guess some random shit like Florence. Just yeah, that, they never like that. <laughs> I see that you took a European trip because you were confused about your sexuality in your life and you didn't know what you were, where you were going. And you ever see some of these profiles with like. That are just some like probably like a boyfriend that made a profile just to find the girl. Yeah, it's just like a you know like blank pages and like something, there's something's weird about that. There's, there's that. commas yeah, for answers on the prompts and sketchy. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ever, you ever get a guy on your shit? All I ask yeah, is that you make I me have. make me laugh. Yeah, and it says, "Woman, we don't need to go any further." We don't, I, I was just genuinely like, "Oh, okay, this happens." <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, yeah. Okay, back to uh, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, back, back to your bit, and then we got girl. more bits, because, yeah. Back to this girl. Yeah, okay, what are you going to say? Uh, all, she says, all I ask is that you make me laugh. No, you can't respond to that one, because the expectation is so damn high with that. Yeah, th that's not a good one to lead with. Yes. Right. But you I, have to unless, do it. You unless, do have to do it. Unless I have the ace of spades. No, the ace of spades is not responding to that, but making her laugh. Right. That's that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. I, I need that ace of spades joke. But not like, responding to that. Yeah. Not actually, yeah. like, not. Yeah. Oh, I mean, being you're like, not. Oh, I'm nothing, gonna. Yeah, yeah. Allow me to make yeah. you laugh. You won't. Don't want to leave with like. <laughs> madame, can I, madame, can Ma I make you? Madame, laugh? come if here. You just have to if, come right out. If, and if say, I may, <laughs> I have a joke that might tickle your fancy. Do you consent? <laughs> I've noticed you like laughter. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Um, may I court you in a joke? You guys like. While we brainstorm of what to say to her, do you guys oh, like the girls God. that have the MAGA hats on? Fuck no. Traditionally, no. Because that, that doesn't necessarily uh, scream like... Reasonable. Like awareness. But it's funny because they screams sneak, It screams fatherless behavior you know how they and not the right way. They sneak that picture and it's the last picture. It's like, okay, profile, profile. The last photo, they're wearing a MAGA hat. And it's like, just so oh, funny. Oh, Shit. <laughs> Oh, I love on uh, Hinge how you can um, adjust the settings of what kind of girls you want to show up. Yeah. So you can completely uh, take out uh, white girls. It sucks. You have to pay <laughs> for the weight uh, for the weight setting. There's a weight setting. What? But you have to pay. And I'm not saying it sucks. I'm just saying there's that, a weight setting. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's the not. There's a there height. Is. There's a height setting. You pay. And there's you a weight one too. To the weight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you can do hair color too. This part. Yeah. This is a, That's uh, absurd. Uh, I'm dating four blue-haired chicks right now. It's the same chick. She has multiple personality disorder. Okay. 
<laughs> is that written in your notes app? This is all my this is my <laughs> my stand up about him. Uh too many pictures of with your friends. Like which one are you? God damn it. Yeah, Howard. that's that's such a common one. I fucking yeah. hate cuz you know it's our it's always the less attractive one of the entire group. Oh, it always is. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're Unfortunately. being very misogynistic. It says swipe away if you don't want a girl with psychiatric issues. I did. That's all psychiatric I <laughs> oh god so what's to say to, what's to say to this girl okay um it's we're, we're overthinking it we're, and this is and this <laughs> is what we all do we all this overthink is, this this t- is type leading of me to the conclusion that you guys haven't got much better things to say than i do because if you I, really I, I, were the, the, I, I, the raging authority on this i'll be you honest you have told me something I'll, we needed the content <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest. She doesn't have anything good to lead with. No. Like, there's literally nothing. Like, it's very dry. Tell her it was too bad about it's World very War II. <laughs> so like, like, it's too bad about Palestine and Israel. I, or World War II or any tragedy. Yeah. It's really too bad about World War II. <laughs> That'd be fucked up. If you said ah. any of these things. You can't say any of that. No. Let's that, see. Let's see. That what won't can you work. say? What can you say? Reading say, good books lately? Say, no. I. Look, what about leading with the coffee? I think that'd be brave. Or what? What? No, lead with. What do you play Minecraft on? You need to hit lead with something. I actually. That do you? Do you play Minecraft on a Texas Ti eighty four calculator? <laughs> that'd be. I racist. don't know. <laughs> There's your joke. There's your joke. Be like, oh, what, no, what? no, we gotta cut that out <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. then you no. said that was racist and that would. Hey, hey why would I be racist? Hey, we, have, we haven't touched any lines yet. Hey, no, hey. no, but that would that would, that would reveal what race she is because of that stereotype. So. Last fifteen seconds, block it out. Jesus, Christ. we're not we're not even gonna use a quarter of this. <laughs> like, let's be real. That's fucked up. So no, that's facts. <laughs> you, you always gotta dox people. I this this yes, you like it's a bot. Whole time we're like worried about her fucking rights, and she's a bot. Well, oh, she's not a bot. She's not even verified. Do you guys verify yourselves on these hidden apps? You do? Uh-huh. I know. Mm. That's a good point. She isn't verified. Are you? Yes. I'm the only I motherfucker. Like I feel like that's a green flag. You get more that likes if you, if you get verified? Yeah. Well, I, 100%. I feel like people are more likely to give you a shot if you're verified because they're like, all right, well, at least this dude's at real. Least, yeah, and not going to ghost me and not doesn't not look not like what they my, are. Or scam, yeah. Debit card information. Oh, I I've, don't want to give that vibe, though. Oh, and how's that work? How, how, how has that worked out for you? My profile's on pause because of how unsuccessful it's been. <laughs> <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, this is, so this is so difficult. Yeah, okay, let's see. Just say no. Honestly, all right. So honestly, we, so hey, the, the last. Uh, I guess I mean that's three wise. That's, that's a last resort with a bunch of wise. And okay. hey, with a bunch. Last of photo of her. Anybody? Her at a beach, and it's like a beachy surrounding yeah say life's a beach and then you die <laughs> should i ask where is that's that why beach? i get high <laughs> ask her if she smokes pot she said no well it's, it's ask her why no never never ask why they don't no never ask why they don't smoke <laughs> it's not going well for me <laughs> <laughs> like you're insinuating i should be or something right exactly yeah they'd take offense to that probably they um as in men bro I don't know what to do. Ben, come uh, on, okay, I, I, I've got... Seriously, just go with what do you play Minecraft on? You have to just send that right now. Right. I, I think... I I'll think that. I, I think that's... Again, again, like I said earlier, that's, okay. a, that's a good gateway into a conversation. But you're not going to ever talk about Minecraft again. Hopefully, or if she's really <laughs> if she's really into Minecraft, guess what you're gonna be doing? Minecraft, Minecraft, buddy, let's go. I mean, that would be great if she's actually into it, and if, and it's not a trap like I described earlier. Yeah, and she's like, she's actually just like a wholesome girl. There's nothing wholesome about video game addiction. No, no. But I'm just kidding. I mean, it would be more more wholesome well, than you- her just like saying that. So. Now, because she has no uh, no other thing that she could think of. Well, may- maybe you lead with this. I'm so glad to hear that you like Minecraft <laughs> so much. Could I I'd pl- rather be could with I a woman. Make you laugh about something. I'd rather be with a woman who's at home doing Minecraft rather than being at the loop. But you are going to need to make me a sandwich and do the dishes. So, you know, 
ultimately not, heard that not enough while. time to do Minecraft. Sorry. Say you can do one hour of Minecraft, but eight hours a day you're going to be tending to the children. <laughs> what? <laughs> When did I mean, children come into the mix? As soon as you deal with the children and all the food feeding us, you can and play keeping all the, house the play, Minecraft. You can play whatever Minecraft you want on any on any console. Listen, Mods everything. You can change your skin. I'll you let you change, change your skin. You can let them fuck in the game. In the game. Now, uh, is she Christian? That's a great question. So, now, some of the girls are pretty reserved on there. They might tell you age, height, and that's it. She's a straight woman. Is that all it says? Pretty much in her height. That's what I'm saying. She, sign. That's what I'm Oh, what's her sign? Uh. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Doesn't even say it? Hold on. I don't even think it says it. It doesn't even say her Guess sign. her sign. And that's the first message. Did you send it yet? Ah, uh, no. So, uh, should I do the m Minecraft? Yeah. Do I the think Minecraft. so. I think you got to send it right now, man. The right audience now. already skipped to the part where you sent it because we timestamped it. The All right, guys. Sends it and it's like <laughs> what? What? So, what was the question? What do you play Minecraft on? Yeah, what do you play Minecraft on? She's gonna say meth. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That'd be badass. I'd <laughs> be like green flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, green flag. <laughs> yeah. That's badass. Does Let's methamphetamines yeah, and yeah, Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> you almost get almost just sent. What do you play Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like fuck. Wait, what do you play? Comma Minecraft? Question mark. It's like, yeah, that's what it says. You fucking read. You can't what do you read. What you play Minecraft on? Should I send it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Sent. Apologize. Sorry. I'm illiterate. <laughs> sorry. I never learned how to sorry read. Sorry for asking you a question. Now, now, you might find yourself saying that. How many times have you gone into your messages, buddy, the girl's gone? You're going to see this a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. No, this happens. Like, the girl that you were fixating on is, like, no longer in your messages. And you're like, Dude, I hate what? that. What? I was, I yeah, was, actually, okay. I was you, all you, morning. You I wanna, was trying to formulate a reply. You want to? You want to hear something really funny? I do. Um, do you? Okay, this can't go in, but I'm gonna, Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this anyways. All right, turn the packs on. Um, <laughs> so you, you, uh, what's what's the one girl from um, Fresh Magazine, Carly? Sure. Yes, it's not going in. Yeah. You, you know, yeah, yeah. Carly. But uh, the other person, um, sure, I always forget her name. Their name, yes. You, do you know who I'm talking about? Yes, for sure. The white white chick. Oh no, the, uh, Elise Rad Sizzle. No, I don't really know who that is. I know, I know. Yeah, sure. Okay, photographer. You might have mentioned this to me. Yeah, no, but we we literally met her. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you matched. Y yes, we didn't match, and idea. we talked. We talked for a little while, yeah, and stuff like that. Oh shit! And then at the like flavor fest yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. like it's like it's like, yo, what's up? What's up? Yeah. And we both like looked at each other, just like not acknowledging. And this has happened several times. We still follow each other on like Instagram yeah. and everything else, and like she will like like my like stories and like like some of my posts sometimes. Wow. And it's it's like palpably awkward in person, but she yeah. did. Literally, like, we were talking, had a normal-ass conversation, and she just, like, unmatched me. Damn. I was like, what the fuck? Oh. But you, did, had you reached out before on Hinge? Not on Hinge. This was, this was on, like, Tinder, I think. Oh, she unmatched you on Tinder? Yeah. Had you reached out? No. So you because, had matched? Because, because, because what's the point of me reaching out? If you, if you had, like, gone through the motion of doing all that. And I'm you like, already had her Instagram. You already. Yes, yes. She yes. was already liking your shit on Instagram? Yes. So, obviously, at that point, you're going to talk on Instagram. Could have, but, like. But instead, you spoke in person, and she was disgusted. No, I never. St no, I, I. The first time I've actually, like, legitimately talked to her mm. in person. Mm-hmm. Was at Flavor Fest. Okay, you had already unmatched. Yeah, that was like months and months and months and months. Ago. I gotta take a wheel. You spill? Wheel. We're gonna be right back on the No Nut November, right? We'll be right back with more information on No Nothing November. Welcome back to the Almost Spicy Podcast. Hi guys. <sighs> Chalk Villa is here. Chalk Villa is here. How is No Nut November going for you? Uh, I already failed, bro. Oh, oh. it's November 1st. 
<laughs> yeah, I already failed. It's the fourth. It's okay, because... Because I already went on, like... I failed. Yeah, I just failed, man. You guys are... I It just it just happened randomly. I just... <laughs> sometimes I just... You just gotta let it go. Jesus. Ain't that the truth about it, everything in life? Sometimes you just gotta let it go. Now, we were talking about addiction. <laughs> For real. We were talking about addiction earlier, Chuck. Are you, are you with us, or are you on Snapchat? Uh, I'm not on Let's Snapchat. talk about your hentai addiction. <laughs> I uh, I did, this is an intervention. It's an intervention. I mean, we thought you'd appreciate that we did this whole like. I mean, I don't the whole the glasses and the mics and everything. But no, gonna, we're not even filming. This is gonna, actually like we're gonna publicize it. This Francisco, is your intervention. I'm sorry. This is my to, intervention. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this is actually your intervention. Yeah, this is your intervention. Well, Ben, I think this is a uh, a good time for us to mention that this is actually your intervention. Oh, fuck. Oh guys! Oh, uh, you know it's like one of the you know in the in, I can't remember what movie it was, but it's like it's like uh, with the ones where they keep pulling guns at each other, like <laughs> yeah, the Mexican standoff. That's a few movies. That's a, it's a yeah. trope classic. Yeah, it's a trope. Is that what you call something that you can reference many yeah. times? Yeah. Well, I mean, in yeah. movies, it's kind of like a, a film trope. Trope is like, trope is like a, a group, a cliche. Yeah, cliche. I didn't really know that, so I appreciate you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. I love the English Edu- language. Edumacation. We were talking about the importance of edumacation on the program earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll remember Chuck Villa from previous episodes. If not, uh, run that back. He's uh, 100% sober. Egyptian? <laughs> no. Full Egyptian. Uh, f- what can you Ugandan. That's right. We already covered that. I'm not Egyptian. On that we've at, we cool. we yeah, we actually we actually never covered that. <laughs> no, you never covered that at all. Uh, <laughs> you didn't bother to ask because <laughs> I don't remember that mentioned once. I don't remember the words "you gone" to coming out it's seven months ago. Whenever we filmed, well, it's, was that seven months ago? That must have been like seven oh, months fuck. ago, man. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not particularly too proud to be from Uganda right now because of what's going on down there. So is it not good? Yeah, they, is that Congo? They 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 made, uh, like, they're making it hard for uh, gay people to live their lives. Damn, you know, like they're trying to make it legal, and they think it, they don't understand anything about it. So they're trying to make it illegal. Like yeah, they they said no. Like you can. It's illegal already, though. I think I can't remember. Or it's kind of it's kind of like a Russian situation. Yeah, they're strongly against it. They, mm. like, they just but there's no law. It. But it's like, why would you ever even think about doing that? Yeah, kind of thing. And now they're trying to make it a law. So it goes against Christian values or whatever. And it's like, oh, so, man, these, guess, we're talking like, about these holy the US, wars, man. The U.S. pulled like their support from them. And Be- then, over that. Yeah. Okay, so and then let's contrast that with what's going on in Israel, and it's like, no, I think let them cook. And then um. Yeah, then I guess I. They're like uh, apparently Chick- no gays. Apparently, Chick Fil A is like supplying them the money just to push that narrative that in Uganda, Uganda is doing. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, damn. Thank God tomorrow I went to Sunday. Canes today. Yeah. So the support and the money that they were getting from the U.S. naturally, that Chick Fil A is now supporting that because they want them to keep pushing that propaganda. So whatever the U.S. <laughs> had, <gay> people. <laughs> the, uh, Chick Fil A just, just fucking subsidized. Let, that's let's, gnarly. Let's think about this. Chick Fil A is that powerful <laughs> that they can. They're they're a nation state at this fucking they're, point. They're they're closed on Sunday and they're influencing other countries. That's yeah. gnarly. I don't know. What what stage of whatever the late capitalism this is where chick-fil-a has a seat at the fucking (laughs) international table sovereign entity yeah Ah, we must all eat chicken chicken sandwiches spicy chicken sandwiches chicken nuggets waffle fries from chick-fil-a and we want the chick-fil-a sauce that's a clip (laughs) <laughs> that, was, that was the money shot right there Yeah let's wrap What do you guys <laughs> From Chick-fil-A No not November though Yeah no I failed that man I I was watching um, Yeah I don't know Hentai <laughs> so, yeah. We know <laughs> this is your intervention no, I'm just kidding This is your intervention I found out we found out. We were talking about Kanye West before you got here. We were never talking about Kanye West before you got here. <laughs> that was actually just a dialogue were, in my you head. You were the only one who brought it up <laughs> multiple times. In fact, yeah, I think there's a lot of conversations you actually just have in your head that don't like come out, and then you like just drop them in conversation. We're all like, I think I thought, he, yeah. he just drops it mid conversation, and then like you know that's why there's 
there's so many like I've seen your episodes where there's like Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. There's Kanye. a lot of Kanye. <laughs> a it, lot of Kanye. And it's just like, it's always Francisco's bringing it up. What's wrong Kanye, with me? Kanye and, <laughs> Kanye and aliens. Yeah, it's Kanye and aliens. aliens. Exactly. It's because no it's because he also writes all of like the descriptions of everything. So he has to bring it up because it's a controversial like topic that people True will it's a, uh, click yeah, on but it. I, but it was yeah. also, also the tags and. Yeah, Kanye's name know, was like, like big, like in this space, like a year ago. But I'm just like still, <laughs> I'm just still on it. <laughs> still yeah, it's it's not really it's it. not really like the same. Now. But also, all delay on our delay on release like has something to do with that. Yeah, uh, we're still talking about Jinko jeans. Oh God, what the fuck? What? I Why? Never wore Jinko jeans in my life. I never. Yeah, no. I never thought those were. Cool. I do not think you could pull that off, man. No. Wow, no. that's fucking. It's not. That's the I don't think thing. any of us here could. You, no. Come on. It's not 2000. Give it to me, man. Come on. One. Look at me in the eye. You tell me I couldn't pull off Jinko jeans. If you like wore a tank top. Exactly. And Sorry, why? Like, why did you, you look like you were crying? Are you good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you Are you like, okay? <laughs> you literally like, look me in my eyes. And, and, and you, had, like, a eyes. Tear. you had like a fucking tear coming down. It's like, yo, dude. Look at your eyes. I don't Sorry. think I can look you in your eyes. Like, are you good? Like, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you good, bro? Ugh. So Evelyn hurt you that bad. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Yo, damn it. it. Uh, we're, out of, we're out of alcohol. Did you want some? Uh, no, I don't drink. Um, that's right. It has only been uh, me and Francisco drinking that bottle of wine. Yeah, mm. yeah you don't drink? Uh, I'm... So we were. This is a. We've been talking. Yeah, about this, this is. This has oh, been a hot okay. topic. Doing, actually, uh, yeah. no nut, no alcohol, no nicotine, no caffeine. I failed the caffeine, but okay. I'm doing all that other shit in November. Okay. Is it even smart, worth mentioning smart. the caffeine part anymore? We've we've said it like four times now. But like the fact that you failed it. Yeah, it's okay. So it's, it's no your, coffee. But truthfully, it, it, no I, like cold brew, no coffee. Okay. I, did, I did like a little tea that had a little caffeine in it. Nowhere near like the amount I was doing. Well, I brought this for you, just for you. I'm not going to rip it. <laughs> he is yeah. God's strongest soldier right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm working on saying no. In a time where they want us to be very, you know, in our vices, he's saying no. I've been trying to quit vaping for a long time, dude. I need to get out of this. Yeah. Try, try Zen. I, I remember you were going to say like, I gave up, dude. There was yeah, five. It, it, it was five days, and I was like, "Fuck." We were I can't we were do we this. were joking about this. We were joking. When I was like, "I'm gonna." I, I, and I I I, I, was I, I, I I I literally told him he's like he's gonna message me randomly one day and it's gonna be like this fucking sucks. And, and you know sure what? Shit? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna annoy, I'm gonna annoy the shit out of you. Yeah. God damn it! I need to complain because like I don't know. I I lost my vape. I think yesterday. And I was like freaking out. I was like, son of a bitch. And I was like, irritable. And I was just like swinging in the air. And I was like, fuck, where'd it go? Damn. And then like later. There's a 72 year old man. Three later. Uh, not three years. Um, three years later. Three years three later. No, hours three, hours, later. three hours later. Um, I found it. I was like, oh, thank God. But then I, I like, I didn't have a craving for it because by that time I already had forgotten about it. Right. And then, and then I just hit it again because I was like, you know what? I might as well finish this. And then. Oh, you've had that vape since I last saw you. No, it's the same. I bought the same one. It's really good. I bought like I bought a different one. That's but just I haven't sad. seen you in a while. No, I'm just so. kidding. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's Mexico mango. It's good. You don't have sunglasses, so I have to look you in the eye <laughs> with tears in them. <laughs> exactly. Everyone has sunglasses. What the yeah. What, yeah. What, what? We got we we got to that point in the podcast. We've been passing around the packs. The packsies. We should pack mm. that. The Paxis, Taxis. Hell yeah. What uh what should we talk about now, boys? Music. Okay. Yeah, music. Yeah, music. What's what's anything new you guys have been listening to? Uh I've been really rocking with the new Brent Fias. That was a fun little Ooh, yes. My yeah. favorite's Where You At. That's that was a good song. one. That's my favorite song right there. I, I love the Tim intro. Like that was Tim intro is good so too. fucking Tim hard. Too. Tim Robinson? Timberland, oh, but I think way fuck. at is where like uh, I could, I envision myself listening to that and skating at the same time. Mm, it's like a skate mm. song. It's like whew, you know, some fries and like do like a pop shove it. Mm-hmm. Just like 
I, I know a skater that uh, heavily uh, uses Brent Fias songs in his uh, Instagram edits mm. to the point where he finally got to, like, he's good friends with Brent Fias now. Oh, yeah. really? He's, he's like a pro skater, but like, yeah. he's super good. He does fashion, too, on the side. Uh, and then um, That's cool. Yeah, he just finally, like, he uses the song so many times, and he just, like, he met Brent Fias, and now he's good friends with him. He's, like, he's a good skater. His name is Carl Isle Akins. Yeah. He's he's cool. He's super. He's good super. I've, I've I've met Brent Fias once. Really? Yeah. Do tell. Sick. Would you Would you ask him? Would you talk about? I didn't talk to him about you anything. Say, hey, I like your music. Yeah. I, I it, it was awkward because I was working. So that's that's oh, how I, that's that's damn. how I like met him. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really do that at work. Hmm. Like. Yeah. Not not fully. Yeah. Not fully. Like if. Yeah. Get, you can't freak out. Yeah. yeah. You know what crazy would be if Brent Fai is like, hey, Brent Fai, can you would you want to be an own spicy podcast? No, <laughs> that that would that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I, I, <laughs> what I did find about that moment that was so funny, I was literally like walking, and he was like walking this way, and I was going into like the back, mm-hmm. and at this like same time, so like he's coming this way, I'm walking, I like notice him, I go in the back, and I'm like, that's Brent Fai. I'm like, wait. That's Brent Fias, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. and I talked to one of my coworkers, like, "Yo, that's Brent Fias." Like, <laughs> yeah, no fucking way. Yeah, and I no way, dude. I, I then go back around, and I like just pass by the table, just to like listen to him, and it's like same exact voice, like Damn. from the music, and I was just like, that, that "That's cool, smooth voice." Yeah, I was yeah, like, "Yeah, that player type voice." But uh, their server, like, I. The funniest thing, the just stereotype of Brent as a person. They were talking about the mathematics of pussy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which I was like, that is so on brand. Yeah, very. Like, literally. He's really about it. I mean, there's really math. Math has been trending lately. Was that was that recently? That was months ago. Okay. It's, it's math has been trending. Pussy math? Was it boy math, girl math? Pussy Any math and dick math. Podcast math. Huh? Pussy math and dick math. Yeah. One plus zero equals sex. Pick a thing and you can do <laughs> math on it. Yeah, the one goes into the zero. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to nice. do some... That was some, uh, that was some real high-level <laughs> thinking, right thinking. There, Let me tell you. <laughs> this is the best podcast. We are some luminaries here, <laughs> we, truly. We we are God's chosen ones. Yes. <laughs> we, we, are prophets. we have eaten from the forbidden apple. Do you know any? You 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 must know something about the Bible. I do know something about the Bible. I saw a Trump clip recently. They they asked him. Uh, they asked Trump. Like this was in 2016, but they asked him, uh, "What's your favorite Bible verse?" And he's just like, "I don't really want to get into all that. So many great verses." Like, <laughs> oh my! I can't really. <laughs> and like, then everyone oh. was like, well, so, many, come on. "So many great verses, I couldn't even begin." Yeah, to get he was into like, "Tell us." He was like, "I really don't like to get. I, into I that. really don't like to get into yeah, that." Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, and it, John three sixteen. No, I was gonna say that. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say that. And then he's like, uh, "They're like, well, are you a New Testament or Old Testament kind of guy to Trump?" And he's like, he thinks about it for a sec. He's like, "You know, both. I, I've got a real Equal. question though. Like, why? Why? What is?" Christianity fixates so much on John three sixteen. Like it, it's it's not even that hard of a bar. Like let's be real. What is no. it? What is, you know what it Isn't is it just love thy neighbor? No. No. Love thy sinner. It's like for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever blah 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 blah. Because it's the most uh it's the most fictional. The one son can really characterize and put an image to Jesus Christ being just a person. Not human. that hard. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus Christ wasn't just a human. Jesus Christ was an alien. Not an alien per se, but he was connected to the uh, next dimensions. Him, Nikola Tesla, uh, a bunch of other revolutionaries. Is there a podcast where we'll ever not talk about aliens? I think not. No, dude, no. As long as I'm here, we're not talking about aliens. (laughs) If we're going to talk about Jesus Christ, we're talking about... Jesus Christ was a superstar. I mean, you can't talk about Jesus Christ without, without talking, talking about, about aliens. aliens. <laughs> exactly. So, what, what do you d- mean? Describe, describe superstar. Like, what does that mean? Think about it. Like, he toured. Oh, he fuck. Gained, he had followers. <laughs> he had people throw palms at his feet. That That's pretty baller. And then he had to carry a fucking cross up a hill. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's not super baller. The cross was a UFO. That was well. That was. It is baller because he died for our sins. That was that was the first uh, example of cancelization. He got, so canceled. Canceled. he got canceled. He got canceled when he, when he had the cross. <laughs> the, the Roman Empire. The Roman canceled. Empire. Yeah. <laughs> when are men Jesus. not thinking about the Roman Empire? It just reminds me of Passion of the Christ. My mom forced me to watch that movie. <laughs> she forced like, you? Oh, my God. It's nothing but brutality. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> what are you doing? I see a man, like, get, like, throw, like, latches on his back, and you see the flesh come up. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, that movie's fucked up, dude. This yeah. like, what? No, yeah. Where it's like, ah, William, you must watch this. this <laughs> all the Christians are watching this. It's like, oh my God, dude. They say the 12 yeah, disciples no, actually just dude, represent I, I the love chakras. Your fucking mom. <laughs> She's so funny. Are you a flat <laughs> earth guy? She thought, me? No. I, the, earth, the earth is round. Classic Christian. <laughs> what? Uh. No, Dog. was Jesus Christ real or not? It's been scientifically proven. What do yeah, you mean? he's was he, he black? Was real. Dude, here's the thing. Yeah, is he's that black. Jewish people are Jewish, and they never can. Cons- That's contest- a fucking fact. Yeah, so they, they <laughs> never. <laughs> Jewish people are Jewish. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't really know where I was going with that. But the thing is, is they never c- have contested the existence of Jesus. They just don't agree that he was like the the main prophet. Or There's the- no main prophet. There's multiple. There's multiple prophets that were made out of <laughs> genetically engineered uh, I'm by so, aliens. I'm still stuck on Jewish, Jewish people are Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> that was so no, fucking... The confidence, <laughs> that was, here's the thing. That Jewish was, people That was Jewish. so fucking Gentiles, profound. Gentiles are Gentiles. Gentiles. Gentiles are Gentiles. There you go. But, so, <laughs> Jews don't... They Like, Jesus existed... He was a dude. Period. Like, you would hear debates about this if he wasn't a real dude, but it is widely accepted fact that he was real and did live. He was, he was just yeah. a guy. He, he was, was just, black. He wasn't just he was a, a guy. He was a carpenter. He, was he wasn't out just here. a carpenter. He was walking he, on water. He, he was, was an alien he w- hybrid. He was turn a that, black sh- Turn that poop carpenter. into wine. Whoa. Turn that poop. A black carpenter? Man. Skin of bronze, hair of wool. I don't know any white person that looks like. Skin of bronze. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Come on. Let's do it up. Now, why would they portray Jesus as white? Tell me. That's America. It's America. The fuck? What kind of question? You know the answer. I Hold blame on. I blame Christopher Columbus. There you go. I like that one. I'll go with Ben. Yeah. Somewhere along the line. And, I'll and, go out with Ben. And, I'll date Ben. And the Queen of England. Yeah. <laughs> Big players. Have you seen uh, Big players. Tim Dillon's Princess Diana impression? Yeah. And his little test. I'm Princess Diana. <laughs> I'm Princess Diana. I was killed in a tunnel. Oh, no. <laughs> That's bad. Not going to go any further. Check out Tim Dillon's bit if you want to see more. Anyways, I'm... I just love the Lizzie, Lizzie's in a Box jam. That's really great. What's that? Lizzie's in a box. Lizzie's oh, in a yeah. box. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, a yeah. goat, man. Who's that? That was just people. Tim that was Dillon. just all of England. Oh. Spe- actually, oh, no. Yeah, I, should, yeah, I shouldn't I yeah, should yeah. say all of England. I should specifically say Northern Ireland. But Type shit. Shout out yeah. Ireland, man. Shout out to... Have mind. you ever heard... Shout out to Wales. Yeah. Have you ever Shout heard... Shout out to um, Wales for Gaelic, real. Gaelic, Irish, or yeah. uh, Welsh. Or Scottish. Like that old Gaelic. English shit. Like, it sounds so it's crazy. It's so... Man. Dude, yeah. it's so like, wild. Why do you think it's wild? Like, kind of Saturday scene. That was actually Gaelic. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, they just... You they, understand Gaelic? And you know Gaelic. <laughs> I know of it. I don't speak Gaelic. Oh. Oh, you, <laughs> you look so caught, me. Ben. Okay. You know, uh, I can <laughs> That's say... That's basically right, though. I can say all the countries in the world in one second. And this has been the Almost Spicy well, Podcast. Thank well. you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, all do the, it. All come on, come on, do Countries it. in the world in one second. Let's do it. <laughs> I thought you were serious. Like, get a skill joke. that you were going to do it in like 10 seconds. Or something. <laughs> it's a family guy it's joke. It's a family guy uh, joke. Let's Are all, you on Hinge? Let's all vomit and then have a... Ch- I'll vomit and then every, we'll have a chain reaction of vomit and that'll be another family guy joke. No, I... That's, Welcome to that the family the guy. <laughs> joke ever. Oh my okay. God. I used to watch Family Guy, man. I haven't recently. 
I'll I mean, it's, it's, it's watching the new fa- Simpsons. I think a funny that's concept is like watching uh, Family Guy on acid. Oh yeah. You said it's a new Simpsons. Yeah, it's basically the new Simpsons. It's still going on, like as long. It's the like Simpsons a, still going on. Seth, no, Seth, they, Seth MacFarlane's got to be like a fucking billionaire from this. Yeah. Oh, he's rich as fuck. Yeah. Like, Wait, the Simpsons is done? Yeah, it's didn't it? It's no, gonna, Simpsons are end. Simpsons is not done. It's they got a, they got bought out by Disney. They're gonna keep that shit alive oh, till the end of time. Never mind. Oh never, I didn't know they got bought by Disney. Dude. Yeah, they were owned by Dang. twenty twenty first century Plus. Fox. Twenty first century, Fo- and they let it yeah. go. They lost the. They didn't. No, they tw- no. Uh, Disney or? Disney bought, bought all of twenty first century Fox, except for Fox News. Except for Fox News, yeah. Wow. But they they own all of Fox and everything. Damn! What? Why a not bit, the news? A, a big part of that, that. A big part of that was sports. That's why they. That's why they. Uh, it was a part of like the ESPN and like everything else. Like sports oh, is on YouTube okay. now. Yeah. So they own. ESPN <laughs> this is an ad. They they've they do ESPN they do for a while. Yeah. They do. They they own now currently like I want to say forty to fifty percent of media. They just excuse me. They just finished their merger acquisition of Hulu. They own Hulu. I'm not going to do it on shit. camera, dude. Fuck. Damn. I hope they don't go after anime studios. Can you tell us any good stories, Chuck Villa? Uh, no. I'm, uh, I'm, I usually just stay home, man. Are uh, you on Hinge right now? Uh, no, I'm not on Hinge. I'm, do you have I'm Hinge? Not any, I'm not on any dating sites. No one, uh, no one swiped right on me. I just got back no, on Hinge. I've been on the, you just uh, got on Hinge. Ever since I've been on any app. You should get on Hinge. Nah. Okay, so when you see a when you see a woman in the I'm trying in, to get on um, what's that uh, Raya, Raya, Raya. Yeah, I want to get Raya. Good luck. What is that? I'll That's her celebrity and influencers. Yeah, you. I'll will. get there one day. Sponsor us, Raya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to have like ten followers into a celebrity dating app. <laughs> clip that. Clip that for your advertisement, uh, Raya. Although I think. I think I'm gonna get Raya. I think you guys should download it too. I will. Uh, you should download it, but you have to have a person that you know that is already on it. To oh, get on for it. the referral. Is that actually how it works? That's how it works. Oh, yeah. fun. Mm. fun fact. Never mind. For, and then they have to approve you. Yeah, it's a membership thing. And then you have to pay. Yeah, you, you gotta. So you gotta first you have to have somebody. a referral, and then you have to be approved, and then you have to pay. Yeah. And so then you can talk to a person. What's the point? Just call That's customer crazy. service. When I'm lonely, I just but call customer I, service. I know. I know. You got to back off that I, mic. I, I'm going to clip it. I, yeah. You're just going to you, start to clip. He always clips everything. Yeah. He screams into shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Francisco. <laughs> Fuck you. Are doing you, some chants here. Yeah. I was going to say I feel like you the fog's incoming like <laughs> we're going to we're going to hit the fucking shore. <laughs> Titanic oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm. Do that one noise again. <laughs> uh. mm. What what noise? The one that was crazy earlier, the horror. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes. Yeah, the horror sounds. Oh, oh wasn't it? Shit. That wasn't it. What was it? Was it lower? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's horrible. We had now. reverb on it. Yeah, no, yeah, it was we no had reverb. reverb. No, it wasn't. Did you turn the reverb back on? Oh, dry. dude. No, that was reverb. It no, was so was it? good. Yes. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> it sounded like this, like, s- literally out of a special effects I don't think from a reverb. scary movie. It was like one of those, like, suspenseful, like, mm-hmm, like. Was really it was crazy. way better with the reverb. I'm glad we got it on tape. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna make. We're gonna work on the track. Yeah, we're gonna work on the track. Yeah. All right, but but I gotta have. Uh, I gotta hang it. I gotta get uh, Jaeger to teach me how to take off the uh, modulation oh, of those fuck, things. Bro. I'm sorry. Damn, dude. we gotta move no. all the shit back in there, right? I only say fuck because the MIDI keyboard I used. I broke it. No. So I can't like re-record the. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll go and I'm. I'm we have to sure like look in the the VST. In, in the V, not in the VST. Oh yeah, in the VST. Doesn't your other keyboard work as a MIDI, too though? It might. Yeah. But we we can we I th- we can just redo it if we need to. True. Yeah. It'll be fine. But yeah. You remember the keys, right? Huh. Well, we'll just we'll just play it again and you'll just remember. Yeah. yeah. 
Is there anything else we want to talk about on Cam? I think, I think anime because we didn't cover that. We didn't cover that. We did. Right, no. We did it last anime. time. So Ben um, and I have to have this conversation. Yeah. Fuck. So I'm going yeah, to. I'm sorry, dude. Let's hear it. Anime. You gotta, you gotta get it. Are you into anime, Jaeger? Uh, I've I've watched it before. I'm, I don't keep coming back to it very much though. Okay. I just watch I, YouTube. Yeah, I don't like. I don't get into it as much anymore. I read more manga so than anything. You read more manga. Yeah. Have you heard? Uh, I'll bring my setup. <laughs> what the heck? I'm trying to think of what that anime is. Hold on one second. Or that manga. I, I want to read it because I heard it was good. Francisco, um, can I ask what that was? That was FOMO. He followed me. What does he do? Is it Francisco? He's a uh, he's a vato, yeah. <laughs> vato. Yeah, he's a vato. You should follow hey, him. Lola Holmes. Is he chill? He'll give you money. He's chill to record. Okay. Yeah, he's chill. He's chill. This probably won't be making it on the podcast. Abushtie. Back to anime. Hold on, I gotta f- keep keep talking about whatever. I gotta find this. We have nothing left. You're the one that wanted to extend. Sorry, pause. It's okay. Whoa! I Just the studio. Yeah, we're talking about the studio. Dang. The new, uh, new JJK episode was. I don't watch JJK. What? I, it. I mean, I've already read it. So is it done? No. I, I should have. I should we, be reading right now. Talk about spoilers. Cause these guys don't watch or read it. Uh, yeah. I mean, that motherfucker's not, definitely not gonna. He's watch not gonna it, watch. So. Or read Why is or it gay? It. <laughs> to you. To you. <laughs> <laughs> to you, if two men kissing is gay, that's your opinion. Listen, buddy. The Bible stream. I was expecting <laughs> tears to be in your eyes. Francisco's been drinking. He's <laughs> going out about being gay and the Bible and shit. <laughs> Deep down, you're a hard blooded right wing enthusiast. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> sauce oh. sauce him up a little bit and he he's like, build that fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. I mean, there's a lot of people <laughs> at the board. God. <laughs> God damn it! These hinge girls aren't responding. Okay, let's get back to the hinge topic. I think that's what the boys want, huh, boys? Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, here it is. Uh, Don da Don. Have you heard of that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, spend 20 <laughs> minutes looking for things. Like, I was looking for it. I'm like, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I know Never that, mind, that, that was <laughs> ladies a, and gentlemen. That was a good clip right there. Oh, <laughs> Have you uh, uh, are you watching Spy Family? No, I'm not. Modern Family. Are yeah, I finished it. You don't watch it. All right, man. You want to work on the music? <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of here. <laughs> yeah, some dude, don't. Work. You're my ride. <laughs> I'm not going far. What's happening? I think we're gonna wrap. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's wrap. wrap. Let's, let's wrap. wrap. Hold let's on, wrap. I gotta do. I gotta. You gotta plug me, bro. Oh yeah, check out Jaeger and uh uh Raven Raven Space Recordings. Raven Space Recordings. Check Links in out. description. Links in description. Book a session in Minneapolis. Book a session. This man's professional as hell, even though he's super young. Really talented. That's true. Um Yeah, and we can make Cut all types of genres though. here if you want. Doesn't matter, you don't have to be doesn't have to be specific. Just make whatever you want. Make some beautiful music. Make some magic. Thank you, bro. No problem. Yeah. Come on through. You're the only thing holding yourself back at this point. If you're a musician out in the... Unless it's money. But in the cities. You can talk. But, no, this guy is willing to work with... I want people to get kids. in here. Let's get the kids. Not the kid, not like that. But. I'm the only person that's been coming through, so let's <laughs> just get the ball rolling with more people <laughs> coming. Yeah. For real. Hell yeah. Links in the it's description. Really chill place. Follow... Us on uh, social media if you want. Buy yeah. a shirt. Chalk buy a Villa. hoodie. Chalk Follow Villa. Chalk Villa. Oh, yeah. Chalk Villa. Uh, Instagram. SoundCloud. Check out his music. This Apple has been our 24 Apple, hour. Apple and Spotify. Mirador del Sol. Mirador del Sol. Yeah. Uh, Almost spicy. Yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll probably have some music come Back out. Back on my bullshit. To Zai. And Ben. And Ben. Yeah, we got to get Ben going. We've Did been podcasting for 24 hours. He said he was going to go on a song tonight if you came I'm through. I'm down. And you're here. Really? I'm down. <laughs> Let's Seriously. Do Serious. Okay. Get this thing going, huh? All right. Let's let's roll something up and um, and get to the music, boys. Let's get it. 
It's been a pleasure it's sitting been, here for fucking how long? It's honestly been it's, six hours. It's 9.37. It's been five <laughs> hours. been going for quite a long time. I think four hours. Since four hours. It's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been awesome. Thanks for having us here, man. Yo, come on through, people. I'm not kidding. all right this has been the almost spicy podcast thank you everybody who has listened thus far and uh enjoying all the time together with these wonderful people sticking with us anyways this is us signing out thanks for enjoying we like we like giving this out to y'all thanks for watching goodbye Peace. peace